<laughs> hey guys, what's going on? I'm Billy Vasily and welcome to Sigma Cast. Today we've got Billy Zig, author of The Elusive Curve. What are you doing, Billy? Uh, very well there, Billy. Not, thank you for having me here. And, yeah. And Kamal, very nice to meet uh, you. Yep. And, uh, Sorry, no, no also, first names. I'm known as uh, The Unknown. My, Un- my, K. my best mate, who's the, uh, <laughs> the K, the unknown, yeah, yeah, yeah doesn't cool. want to, you know, very keep it discreet. Something should be unknown, shouldn't they? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, I reckon, 100%. It's uh, awesome to have you guys here. It's been in the making for a long time, and I've uh, been very keen for this one. So, um, Likewise, been, yeah. it has been in, in making for a long time, and we had, you know, some, you know, COVID lockdowns in between since the first oh, time yeah. we met. Because I think that's how we actually met. We met, yeah. Didn't we, 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 met met, we met at one of those uh, lockdown um, freedom, you know, freedom things. Meetings. Everyone gathered at the Balkans yeah, Cafe. Yeah, that's and right. That's, 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 that's where we met. That was fantastic. And it was so yeah. good because when we did meet, you know, because we were already connected, like, we knew they were lying about this thing that just happened to us. So yeah, outside, yeah. it was like, it was just so easy saying to you, hey, to you know, I, I'm a flat earther. Or I believe the earth is flat as well. Yeah. And then you didn't. You know, point your finger, or you know, you took. And I thought, cool. This I was guy's, like, this, this guy's guy. cool. His name's Billy. There, yeah, what's yeah, going on? He's like, Billy yeah, and we just Greek. like got along so well, and here we are now chatting. So You're Billy Z. I'm Billy V. What yeah, a dog. Like, cool. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, nice one. So yeah. it's so good to meet um, people in Melbourne that are questioning things, and you know that that's where, of course, man. Where you know, I think you've got a lead up of, of questions for me. Um, yeah, so, yeah, yeah, let's, yeah. Let's get yeah. started. Yeah, that's awesome. Cool. Fantastic. Done. I'm ready. I've got a list here of the 20 biggest conspiracy theories. Yeah, cool. Right, and um, I just wanted to run through them. Let's go. Yeah, so the first one being the 9-11 attacks that yeah. happened um, September 2001. 11. September yeah. 11, 2001. Um, you know, some believe that the US government had prior knowledge or even orchestrated the attacks September 11, 2001. Um, what do you guys think about that? <laughs> Do you want to shoot first? Yeah, that's uh, that's a standard. That's, that's an easy. That's one. <laughs> we, we, we cracked that one when we were like four to thirteen yeah, or whatever. Yeah, uh, two thousand one. Yeah. I think we were twelve. It took us about wanted, a year to, yeah. to understand that one. Yeah, but yeah, yeah, that's it was uh, all for oil, bro. It was all for oil and to to yeah. to destroy the Middle East uh, for uh, some end, reason. Endless benefits for those involved. Yeah, um, it's so sad. There's that theory that they were actually DEWs rather yeah. than uh, missiles weapons. or so many. Um, theories yeah. on that. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. was chatting yeah. with somebody the other day, and we both agreed that 9 11 is, you know, oh. obviously, you know, conduct not as per the official narrative. <laughs> I'll start with that. Mm. Um, and then we started getting into, you know, I said, oh, maybe there was no planes because I didn't see a plane. Other people, even, you know, on C4 the ground, explosions. Didn't see and only the people that saw them, they had all these official explanations straight away. I saw a plane. And, you know, it was the reason it came down. You know, within an hour, this guy's got an official explanation of how the buildings fell down. It was because of the, you know, building and the, the way, of, you know, really? But these guys were controlled mm. opposition. So now we can argue, we agree on the, on the fundamental principle that, it wasn't as per the initial narrative. No mm-hmm. way. Um, what happened to World Trade said, Center 7? You said, and I'll touch on how you asked the question, you said, do you think America had involved, you had prior knowledge? Yeah. I think you asked. Um, yeah. Yeah. What I'll say, well, how I'll answer, I don't think just America had prior knowledge. I don't think mm. heaps of countries had prior knowledge. Yeah, they would have been I reckon they agreement. them. <laughs> <laughs> they them knew a they, order. <laughs> <laughs> they them knew that something, you know, they all knew because... Australian media was on full, um, you know, team go. Mm. Everyone yeah. was team go red the team next go, day. Red, red team go, red yeah. team go. Lot, you know, airport should be... The media within a day would say, oh, yeah, airport should be screened and this and that. And everything that they did, it was already there pre-planned, yeah. just like they did with the recent one that <coughs> yeah. happened as well. Arab people got really, like... They, they copped it after that, Copped man. it big time. Yeah. It copped was it. So it was a finger-pointing thing as well. Yeah, who yeah. does the finger-pointing? A whole we race, of, a whole race well. of people copped it for no right, reason. Yeah, exactly. Except the true, the real people that did it. Only that race, and I don't know if we can go into that. <laughs> <laughs> that race didn't get um, attacked you know, or mentioned in any of that. But we know uh, they were dancing, you know, mm, you know the digging small hats. And all sorts <laughs> the small of, hats. You know, like, there were all sorts of other how far we can go. I like, asked that, but there were um, we'll cop a direct even, energy weapon right here. Eh? <laughs> even, yeah, exactly. And what was the reason? Was it you know gold? Was it oil? Was it drugs? Oh, God, yeah, gold, yeah. Oil, people drugs. smuggling, dr- yeah, or yeah. Was was power. It, was it even power? They've got was all it that even, already. Was it there. even to hide a lot of? Because 
Iraq and the Me- and Mesopotamia has Mesopotamia, a lot of Mesopotamia. Yeah, yeah, Mesopotamia in the middle of two rivers, yeah. Meso and Potami, which is river. Yeah. And in the middle of these two rivers, the Euphrates and, and the, the Tigris. Tigris. Tigris River, exactly. That's where everything began, yeah. right? So when they destroy and they attack these cities, they destroyed so mm. much archaeology that oh. you wouldn't uh, believe. Ancient archaeology. Same with Syria. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Stuff that, even, that defies logic. Go, okay, you're saying these people were dumb that lived in that area, in that region, in Middle East, and they're like, you know, don't know anything. But look what they built. Yeah. Five, six, ten thousand years, years ago. ago. Yeah. Exactly. And it's really trippy topic. So there was a lot. There's not just the, you know, the... The goal, the you know, there wasn't just one reason behind. No, they would anything. have had ancient technology and if, that was different to what we're using now as like silicon-based technology I that we've I, reversed engineered probably from the Roswell incident. Incredible, who knows? Um, but in, yeah, yeah, incredible. But yeah. that not you know just so we sort of yeah. how far could we go on the nine eleven top? But that's yeah, yeah. like deep because didn't it change a lot? You guys said that, that you were you know, thought thirteen or fifteen at the time yeah, when yeah, that yeah. happened. I was thirty one when that happened, and that changed me entirely. So mm. I could just imagine as a child, that, not as a child, We but questioned a everything that, from then onwards, yeah, right, man. We yeah, were questioning cool. everything. Far like out. It was hectic. I, like, I was uh, burning DVDs for, like, Truther documentaries and <laughs> handing them out in, in, the, <laughs> in the corridors. For free, yeah. <laughs> yeah, like just other take students. Them. So imagine the, the spread that you've done, even mm. other people yeah. that are... Yeah. Wow, that's was, where you started. That's yeah. big, isn't it? To then, you know, to go, what? That's what the government is doing. If you discover that at 14, yeah. you know, that age, as a teenager, then, gee, that must be hard going through the education system. And oh, we were laughing the whole time. We were laughing the whole time. I think your teacher's got no official explanations. You probably saw them trying I'm to shut I'm looking at the teacher the going, this teacher's an NPC there. Yeah, What's going on yeah, here? Right. You know, my parents are paying, fucking send me to this school, and I'm, I've am i already like, clocked it in a way. These <laughs> teachers are just regurgitating. Do you, do you remember... Um, who was that tech teacher or uh, the psycho one? Oh, no, there, there, was, there was a good one. one. Mr. Hoy? No, the there was psycho? another one. Oh. Anyways, um, he was he was showing us like the um, the official, like they were like the archa- uh, architectural breakdowns of how they they fell because it was the, the tech teacher, you know, he was trying to break it down, um, the engineering behind it and the physics behind it. And I was just looking at it. I was we just, just like, shut him down. Like, and we were like, all right, bro, all right. It was ridiculous. Yeah, this guy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and he thought he had all the answers, didn't yeah, he? Yeah, he was just pressing play on a YouTube video from like <laughs> the official <laughs> investigators and it was just silly. And all the other kids were like, oh, yes, yes. No yeah, idea. It's amazing. That, and as we sort of touched on before, that all the media, they all had the same thing. You know, mm. They're playing that same... You know, they all had the narrative guy, to push. The guy on a plane and he made a phone call and he's like, hi, mum. <laughs> and he says his full name yeah. to his... It's, it's yeah. so... It's, you know, the passports. Really, yeah, yeah. It's You're going to say Is this the guy name. that flew the plane into it? No, one no, of the passengers. One of the passengers. Oh, yeah, one yeah, of they the had a voice yeah. recording. It was like yeah, a heartbreak he, he, story. Exactly, and, yeah. And oh. he had perfect communication from mm. his telephone back in 2001, which I don't know if they... Did it was that were nine kilometers up or mm. something when he made this phone call. Well, I can't even get reception um, here. Eh? Yeah, How are you yeah, going to exactly. get reception there? There's no break in the call. And it's it's like, 2024. I still don't have reception. Na- yeah, 911. 9-11. a huge one. Isn't that it? was a big um, one, and that was an eye opener for heaps of people. Yeah, yeah, for sure. And how is it that even after 20 years that we still haven't mm. concluded or no one's been, you know, brought to they justice keep, for that? They keep bamboozling us with more and more shit. Don't they? That's what they do. Don't they? Yeah. All right, let's go to the second well, one now. Just before we oh, move okay, on, yeah, uh, yeah. I actually use that as a like a screening a question. A yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. It's just like if you don't know, if if you, if you haven't even bothered looking at any alternate yeah. uh, narratives, then it's like how will you ever? That's the, that would be pre Shmovid. I call it Shmovid. Um, pre Shmovid. That was the biggest conspiracy apart from what we'll get into eventually. Uh, but in terms of our lifetime, Shmovid. the biggest event, the biggest international event, and if Absolutely, you haven't bothered to look into that, then I'm not obviously gonna, nothing I'm not else. Open is up Pandora's yeah, box to you. Yeah, yeah, exactly. To try yeah. and explain everything because that. that changed the world. Mm. That, yeah. you know, yeah. the, tr- the yeah. way we travelled, the way that the, was the first big you know, step towards the new world order, wasn't it? Oh, the Patriot yeah, and Act. Now, and now we're going towards 2030, wasn't right? It? Yeah, and they're just on target, aren't they? Because they actually come out and tell you Agenda 21. You know, yeah. and like, bang, when did this all, you know, bang, right on, um, 
2020, you know, we copped it almost on mm. New Year's Day. They mm. came yeah, out yeah, with this, yeah. you know, things. Because they're going but, hard, man. They're yeah, going they hard. They don't even watch it fun for one day, <laughs> right? No. Nah. If not for one day on that New Year's Day, they had to come out with this, you know, breaking news. Because like, that's when they did it. They yeah. started yeah. there and they yeah. tripped. Well, you know, whatever happened, of Chinese people yeah. just drew up. Whatever happened to those guys that just yeah. would be on their phone standing and then they just... I know, they drop and they put their hands down before they... <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. everyone does that when they, you know, get knocked out, don't they? Yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, totally. Do you want to go number two? Or? Mm. I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm intrigued to see this. Tw- list, 20, yeah. I feel like 20 will, will be here. Maybe we can mesh talk. these all together at the end. You know, <laughs> Probably, like, yeah, yeah. That's a super question. <laughs> so, number two is the moon landing. Oh, uh, that's a good yeah. one. So, the moon landing hoax, right? <coughs> uh, conspiracy theorists argue that the Apollo moon landings were faked by NASA. Why would they do that? They were going to lie. <laughs> NASA's, you know, so, like... So back then... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Lies. Yeah. That's right. And it's that's a big one, isn't it? And yeah. that's one of the first ones I got into. So mm. you guys said your first one was, was that. that. Yeah, yeah. I was about 26 years old when I came across... You know, that's where the internet... I first, you mm. know, dial up internet, you know, okay, and I love the moon landing. So, you know, I love science and, you know, the science of the and Pictures of the pale us. blue dot and by yeah, Carl Sagan and all that stuff. I questioned, you know, because I wasn't born when it was... I was born 1970, so just after, I guess, you know, I didn't, wasn't... Bef- like, a lot of people tell me they were in class and they watched the TV. And you go look at those TVs in 1969. Big boxes. Oh, like, a horrible vision. Like, <laughs> you know, and NASA actually, when they showed that vision, it wasn't even raw footage coming from there and... They actually, NASA screened it on a big screen there, and they had the ev- every uh, other reporter filming, it? Agent, filming mm. that. So it was second hand. Like 144p right? there. Yeah, <laughs> this is ridiculous. Some yeah. people believe that. But anyway, the, the moon landing was, was a big one for me, 1996, jumping on the internet, and it was a cool site and broke it all down. Because you could back then it wasn't as um, shadow banned mm-hmm. as it is now. You could actually type, and, yeah. you know, there was a. I can't remember how I got linked to this website, but it, this guy just explained it uh, very simply and it made me really think, how did they do No way they went there. And I sort of go, yeah, and I hope we're tied back because I didn't believe that, okay, just because you're not lied about the moon landing, you're going to lie about everything else. Mm. I thought that was a purpose to beat, you know, there's a Cold War yeah, affair. Yeah, that's what I mean. You, you yeah, know, so yeah. even if they lied, just there was beat any, Russia. you know, that the nefarious purpose that, that I found out later on, you know, to be... So, yeah, definitely they lied about that. There's a lot of science behind that disproves that. I wrote about that in my book because they're saying we live on a ball, right? And, you know, that ship, the spaceship, had to leave Earth and it orbits our Earth to build up enough velocity to get to 17,500 miles an hour and then it slingshots out (laughs) and it zooms around the moon now. Or, sorry, flies, orbits the moon now and then lands... Or, sorry... One of the the what is it the loot the LEM then ejects off this rocket yeah lands on the moon. What's happening is okay. Fair enough if that was like that. Okay, you went there and came back, but that's whilst this sun is going. Ar- sorry, this ball is going around the sun at sixty six thousand miles an hour, yeah. plus flying through the universe at five hundred thousand miles an hour. The sun is yeah. Sorry, yeah. the sun is well. We're gravitationally locked onto this. Um, doing our orbit as well as the moon orbits us. And then the universe expands at 1.2 billion miles an hour. So how does the rocket leave this as it's travelling? You know, it it just defies logic. It would get lost in space effectively. Because if the rocket... Because everything's expanding, right? The 500,000 miles an hour, they say it just gravitationally is locked to somehow because they reach this magical velocity. Just the whole thing is just bullshit, actually. Yeah, just crap. The lie once you look the once you look at the moon landing and break it down even from the physics of yep, you know yep. the basic physics because I probably didn't even explain it to the to you know someone could explain it better than that but the simplicity of that or looking at their spacesuits technology looking yeah, at yeah. the lunar the rover systems. that drove around and it looks <laughs> like there was like puppets you know on <laughs> air, right not even real people. If you examine yeah. that, it's like those yeah, things but there was don't wind. move. There was the wind in drive, it. It never moves. It was like, windy. The flag was flapping yeah, the, in the wind. The, 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 the fuck's the, the wind coming wind, from? A lot of factors. The food. Stan- Stanley Kubrick. Their nappies. Like, where did you go to the toilet during the three or four days, that, you know, five that you're in on this mission? The three people Eating space food, capsule. toothpaste and shit. Exactly. 
the pressure of it. And like straight away, when, if that thing was taking off, who knows what's going to happen to your when bodily did they, functions? When did they, they go? Know. When did they go to the 1969 moon? was so the first. 1969 you know, manned, was the first manned mission, yeah. apparently. And they then, how many the times did they go to the moon? It was seven. Seven. Land. And then they uh, stopped when? They did seven. I think they did thirteen missions in total. When Columbia two exploded? failed, eleven went up there. Seven were manned. Something like that. And I might have that wrong, but it won't be far but off. But everybody those. died except Buzz Aldrin. Um, yeah, there was a guy who died um, as they were testing the the rockets and everything, and they were actually testing the communications between when they got into the, apparently the co- the control the cockpit of the spaceship. Yeah. When and what happened is that there was breakdown and he couldn't communicate and it was like failing mm. and he ended up saying, look, if we can't even communicate between each other, how are we going to get to the moon? Now we're going to communicate <laughs> there. And he ended up putting, getting a coat hanger and putting a lemon on it uh, and he hung yes. it at the front of the, the spaceship. <laughs> yeah. Right? At the door yeah. of the spaceship. Yeah. You have to say this is a the lemon, lemon, right? Yeah. 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 That's and hilarious. Literally, man, five, I think five, six or seven days later, yep. the whole, they were doing another, you know, test, um, a, a simulation inside yeah. the, the cockpit yeah. and it caught fire and they all died. Those three guys died. Oh, in are there. you serious? And in a simulation, like, they died. Yeah, yeah. On Earth, they, they couldn't. Died. They couldn't even do a simulation. Exactly. Let alone going up there. And, and up there was no problem. They could play golf, drive their cars, yeah, yeah. you know, like yeah, yeah. flags up, drop yeah. hammers and feathers and. So, no you, so you're telling me that in 1969, when they had literally the Mustang just like came out, the Mustang Fastback, yeah, what carburetor piece? engines. <laughs> yeah. You don't, you don't got electric windows. Yeah, you got TVs that are the size of like uh, a small room yeah. with a with a 34 centimeter screen, cathodes, right? And they haven't been back to the moon since. No, and now we've got iPhone 15 Pro Max and the latest technology. Exactly. Yeah. Like, and just, you know, perfect what you said, because it's not just about, put that ball down, um, it's not just about um, those really important topics, but there's so much that could have gone wrong in this spaceship, and now there was, even some of the astronauts said, oh, if you poach your finger through the wall of the space, your finger will go through that. What are you mm. talking about? How does this pressurise inside there? Where did your oxygen come from? It's supposed to be the mega bat- radiation? The batteries. There's actually a great documentary, if anyone watched the watch, What's watch it called? It's called A Funny Thing Happened on the Way to the Moon. Okay. Yeah. I'll, I'll put and it, it up. It's fantastic. Yeah. And even when... It's made by a guy named Bart Subrell. And he, you know, I don't know mm. who he is. I don't, but he asked some great questions to the astronauts. You know, would you put your hand on the Bible That's and swear it, yeah. that you went there? <laughs> oh, and they don't do it. But Buzz Aldrin actually punches him yeah. in the face. Oh, yeah, Another guy that, that he asked, Collins, I think his name was, um, in his house, get out of here when he asked mm. him. You know, we've got footage that showed how you faked the, the earth. So what they did is they threw the whole, you know, the, the cockpit of the, well, not the cockpit, the fuselage of the, air, of the rocket that they went up there with. There was a porthole and... It showed how they used the ca- took the camera back here and were taking photo of Earth, but they mm. covered some of the porthole, sorry, that way to appear that they were taking a photo of a ball Earth. And it makes you wonder, was that one of the reasons why they wanted to go to the moon? Because they had to convince mankind that they live on a spinning ball. So they were up trying to then, to... everyone believed... Was questioning they were the science to of put curvature in the yeah, in a yeah. way. Yeah, show people the ball. That's what yeah. I reckon they went there. That's what I reckon. The key reason, and all the other countries would go along with it, including Russia and China, and all of them that could have disclosed well, it. At the India time. just went to the and moon. It, yeah, exactly. And even Australia was involved Allegedly. in yeah. in the fir- in the moon missions, weren't they? When they had the parks. Um, There'll be a Seven Eleven there next or, week. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Um, yeah, but the moon landing, huge. Like, people should look into that and question that because, yeah. you know, that's my litmus test when I sort of chat with people, mm. you know. Interesting. About this for your generation, bigger, it was yeah, the, forever. That, the litmus test. Yeah, yeah. for sure. Yeah. Definitely. Mm. Yeah, that was That's huge. a big one. It's that a big one. Huge. Yeah. Well. Same with Area 51. Yeah. We all know about Area 51. Well, if I was creating areas, I wouldn't name the first one 51, <laughs> right? Mm. So is there 49, 50 uh, before good. that? Is there 52? And how many mm. years after that, yeah, right? Exactly, yeah, exactly. 482, because I reckon America's connected with all these. It's interconnected. Have you seen the Dumbs? Have you aware mm. of them? Deep Dumbs underground deep. military bases, That's yeah. That's exactly mm. right. Yeah, they've got one in Pine Gap. Man, even in Australia they've we've got, got them. Yeah. But yeah. in America, you see them, and if you, there's videos of them online, where you see semi trailers going mm-hmm. under there both ways as yeah. semis, and they get to a, a junction where it goes 
five ways like that, and these cross underground, and they move USA. a lot of their... USA. You know, so is this what they do with the fake moon landing money? <laughs> yeah. They've got unlimited well, black... Yeah. <laughs> what is it, 60 million? Are you really doing stuff down there? As above, so <laughs> yeah. below? Yeah. So, yeah, yeah, yeah anyway, yeah. <laughs> All right. Do they you know, get... Era 51's huge, though, isn't mm. it? Yeah, speculation is of the, extraterrestrial activity and government cover-ups at the secret military base in Nevada. What do you reckon... Um, it's another, uh, yeah, as you said, it's, it's something else to focus on, um, in terms of, I don't know too much about the history of it. I used to be obsessed with it when I was much younger. And then I started to realize, um, whatever we get from these, um, whistleblowers, you know, ex CIA and, trust um, him? David Grush, what's going on with this guy? He yeah, seems like an NPC, bro. Yeah. 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 Like, how these do guys you, are point. very That's smooth, really very, very like articulate, that. you know, it's like, man, it, Legitimately, if they're coming out to expose government secrets, they're not going to be on on mainstream. On the, yeah, no, are they? They're not going to. No. They're not going to be promoted on mainstream. No. That's the number one. That's if they are, if it? they yeah. are, it's yeah. Project Blue Beam. Yeah, you know what I mean. There's some kind of angle. There's something. There's, there's an angle, angle there. that we haven't seen yet. It's exactly. a card that they're playing, and we just don't know what they're what mm. they're going to yeah. play. But Area Fifty One, like I'm not into the. You know, it used to be a big UFO thing, and yeah. that's you know. So when you connect that and you watch the movies, so if you watch um, X Files. X Files is good. I as loved well. X Files. And what was that one? Independence Day. Oh, oh yeah, yes, I still yeah, love yeah, that. Great. Same, yeah, yeah. Same. Same. Everybody in the world uniting mm. to exactly. get the aliens, yeah. and, you know, to get them, and you know, Project you know, Blue Beam propaganda. Great speeches from politicians, and yeah, God save the yeah, world. Yeah, yeah, and, you know, yeah. Everyone getting together. And this one, yeah, that, that one ties in with the the next one, which is the Roswell UFO incident. You know, right. Allegations that an alien spacecraft craft crashed near Roswell. Uh, in New Mexico in 1947 and that the government covered it up also that they've been reverse engineering that craft and that's what's created the current day's technology. Isn't that good? Yeah, yeah. Isn't yeah. that good? Because it ties in exactly with that movie because that's what that movie promoted where yes. you know, at the end they found the spacecraft so they could defeat this mothership UFO. Yeah, by you know, reverse engineering. Yeah, by reverse engineering. To take that's the shields exactly down. What, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you know, but look, it's possible. Maybe there are aircraft out there that we can't explain. We don't know. We're not at that level of you know, um, top level security. Yeah, yeah. Right? Not even David Grush is, and he's speaking on behalf of everyone you know, trying he, to get them uh, to believe aliens. Uh, exist yeah, like and what sort of can't. alien? And maybe there are aliens, and maybe there's more land on Earth, and maybe there's other civilizations. Maybe there's a galactic that federation. We don't know about, and they're alien to us, and it's yeah. extraterrestrial. So yeah. that's a concept as well that yeah. we're always thought. That extra territory is up there, and it could be on that planet, four billion, you know, trillion miles away, and or that one, or that one, and wow! And every day they're finding new stars and stuff, and yeah. could be out there. Look up there, everyone, you know. Mm. And who has the technology to see what they see? They could tell you anything. They can now <laughs> have a telescope that looks back in time, four trillion mm. years, and we can tell how the. You know the yeah. the history. The, everything happened through this telescope. Tells us everything. I've got a I've got a like telescope. A mar- ball. You know, like <laughs> yeah, magic shake minute. it. Yeah, eight, eight ball. I've got a I've got a telescope, like a pretty like standard kind of one. But every time I've looked at, um, all I can see is the moon. That's the only thing that I can see that isn't a, a, fl- a fucking plasma ball. Every yeah. time I look at Mars, I look at Saturn, I look at Jupiter. It's just a plasma ball. Beautiful point. What, what, what Beautiful the fuck point. is that, Because man? everyone, because I've got a Nikon P900. Um, so does Kamal. You've got one as well, Kamal. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. when we look at it, we see the same as you. And then online, the trolls, when we show what we're seeing, which my eyes actually see that too. If you look mm-hmm. at this, the most twinkling star at night, you can see it's twinkling. And almost, you know, you think it's a helicopter at one point. And then goes, no, that's... Yeah, well. Wow. My son has said that. Is that a chopper? No. I said, that's a star. And he goes, no way. Then we start talking about how far are these stars and how far can we see and with the telescopes. But yeah, you're right. Because trolls say, no, the Nikon P900 doesn't focus in properly to these stars and that's why it's looking like it's doing this dancing yeah. of, you know, and sometimes you almost see faces mm. in these stars, don't I'd, you? I'd, love, you I'd love to go out into the bush. Let's do that. Let's do that. get a big telescope yeah. and see if there's a difference. Actually, I had a, I had a meet-up that I was doing today supposed to, there was a flat earth meetup in Parkdale and I should have gone, I was just like trying to do the both at the same time. So there was, I, I think there would have been 20, 30 people. So let's do that. Yeah, let's yeah. find a location or let's do, you know, some experiments that we I'd can I'd love to. Share yeah, with, yeah. Um, with the world from a Southern hemisphere point of view of what we're yeah. seeing and 
Mm. You know, because if you look at these stars, you can see the Big Dipper from America and you can see it from us, but they're just inverted. The star's the other way mm. around. The, yep. the um, what do you call it? The constellation looks opposite of us. So, yep. yeah, anyway. Man, that's... Um, yeah, very, yeah, that very one true. with... The landing, the crash, and all, yeah. I believed that too at one point, man. But what can you know? Belief is the enemy of knowing, as um, mm. you know, Crow Triple Seven, there's a show like, yeah, yep, Crow yep. Triple Seven Radio. Look oh, that up, yeah. That's, that's uh, Crow Triple Seven Radio. What's his name? Um, the, oh, not the Crow House. Sorry, I was thinking, no, uh, what's his uh, name? Max Egan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well. Oh, yeah. Max Egan. <laughs> Max Egan, we call him. Like a Maxi Bond. Yeah, like a Maxi yeah. Bond. Yeah. Bond. Max Egan. Max Egan. He's good as well. Max Egan's good. He had to flee. Huh? He's in Mexico. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's um, like Santos. Mm. Yeah, Santos is there as well, isn't he? Mm. Mm. No, I looked at Mexico. What, it's beautiful. Too. What's Crow Triple Seven? Because that, that does sound familiar. Crow Triple Seven, yeah. So it's C with a double R, O, W, then Triple Seven. But he's taken some amazing footage of the moon. Yeah. And he's credited for um, the I'll put a thing up. the lunar wave, yeah. where he's got some really good um, camera technology. But yeah, yeah. you zoom into the into the moon, and you can see this wave coming across oh, every second. Yes, second yes, or something. Wow. that's like yep. waves. I'm talking mm. wave like mm. that. So you wonder, is it like the Bible says? You know, water above, water below. You know, is that another above as below? You know, but. Yeah. I heard uh, crazy stuff, man. someone crazy. S- someone said oh, that it's a sequence. There's a you know, sorry, sorry yes, to interrupt yeah. you because of my I'm old and I'm freaking Go ahead. forget it. it. Must Please. be Billy. But there's a resonance happening. <laughs> 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 but there's a you know even if you look it up, there's a Schumann Schumann resonance. They oh, call the Schumann it. resonance seven point eight three. How come, yeah, how come that's never brought up in any other science or any other? And you know, that's the frequency of the climate, Earth. Exactly when yeah. they talk about climate change or these active. Why is that never brought up to how that affects everyone? So true. No, no, no. It was a lovely uh, with the um, that wave coming across the moon. uh, I remember. I I think I read a comment. It was like um, this reminds me of like watching an old videotape where you see that sort of line coming through or like a poor recording. And it was like, are we watching a... Are you watching that as well? Yeah. yeah I get you. Is it like a I projection? Is it a hologram? Yeah, you know yeah. I mean? is it, yeah. What is it? So yeah. I wonder, I don't know, but I love looking up where a lot of people don't. So mm. great that you've got to, you know, with your telescope, let's do that. Yeah. Yeah. We, yeah, yeah. we definitely, we were in Port Arlington last week and I was very upset that I didn't bring the P900 because you could see the CBD from where we were. And I was like, well, I wonder how many kilometers away that would have been. Yeah, yeah. I know what you mean. and I was like, you know, it would be. It was. It was a very warm day, very hazy, lots of pollution. But you know, you need conditions to be right. Like you do, uh, you got to be perfect lucky, conditions. Don't you? Yeah, yeah. you got to be lucky and but just those those crisp winter days are the best. Mm. They're the best. Mm. So maybe we should do something yeah, coming up yeah. soon in the next few and months. Even, I'm finding even March. And um, to September are perfect times as well. Let's do what, something. Let's do something. What's happening is as, as the sun is now in different locations throughout the year. If you look at the Annalima, mm, it's moving. So beautiful. It's doing this yeah. thing. So even if it's, so, if I'm going, I live in Chelsea. So if I look directly this way, you know, which I try and look at the same location. Yeah, pull that sucker. Sun, uh, pull that, that sucker. Oh, sorry, up that's here. where the sun is setting in. Um, <laughs> In summer, <laughs> thank you for that. <laughs> Sucker. Um, <laughs> the that old Joe right? Rogan thing. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, but in, during the solstice period, as we're, you know, yep. it's going back into this loop that's, you know, moving concentrically closer or, or from a ring point of view, you'll actually see different silhouetting happening behind the sun. So now you can see, mm. I've actually caught um, from Chelsea Beach. You know where Ballarat is? Mm-hmm. That's like 100 kilometres away from yeah. Melbourne. There's a wind farm there. And because the no. sun was setting behind the wind farm, you oh, could see really? the silhouetting oh, wow. every Ooh. 20 or 30 windmills. Like one, I had to look up where it was. I'm like, did they just put new windmills in the bay? That's what I thought. Yeah. But they were like behind, like talking, you know, sometimes you could see further than that. Wow. I don't know what I'm seeing. Is it the Grampians I'm mm-hmm. seeing sometimes? Mm. How far... On those right conditions, can you actually see? Incredible. Mate, that is something that I'd be keen to suss out yep. with you boys. And I've done that on a number of occasions, so see, it wasn't only one. Then they come up with refraction. Oh, that's why <laughs> the Earth is refracting that. So it's not what you're seeing. You know, the, they're down behind the curve of the Earth, and they're just bouncing up now so you can like... Yeah, you're, you're getting almost pretty clear images of, of windmills that are at that distance. Have you done the, the, the calculations? Five hundred refraction. 
500 meters, 30 meters yeah. of earth curvature over yeah, that distance. Yeah, it's a refraction pulling up. the shore of the land mm. on the other side as well. Wow. So even be, you know, even before it gets to that, and Port Ellington to where were you? You could see the CBD. Oh, just, just by with the naked that's eye. 60, yeah. You can see 70 k's. Yeah, 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 yeah. 60, 70 yeah, k's. Yeah. So that should have had, you know, again hundreds of meters of curvature, earth curvature, horror. You know, um, geometric. Physical curvature, because if they're saying that's the horizon and that's as far as you should only see, technically be able to see the top of the that's Eureka a physical building. Physical horizon. That means you get if you've got a boat and you're here and you get to that physical horizon, that your boat is now at a different, like it's curving. It should mm. be, shouldn't it? And yeah. then you go a bit more, and it'll curve again. It'll keep curving to go around a ball because that's what you have to do to go around a ball, don't you? You have to. It would keep constantly curving because they call it the Sagita point or the Sagita people. I think it's Sajida. It's, but when I say you're, like, we st- in Australia, like, we're here at this, here on Australia. But that's the top part for us because the curve goes here. We're standing on this part. So let's do it here. If you're here, you're standing here, it should curve away from you from every direction, shouldn't mm-hmm. it? Mm-hmm. So not just in front of you if you're going on a boat that way. You should look behind. There should be more curvature that way, more curvature that way. Because it's not about... We all talk about perspective, but it's not just about 3D perspective, which is what we're doing now in a three... Because we know this floor is flat and level. We know the walls are level because that's how a plum does it. A plum, <laughs> the you know, when you did create, a good job. <laughs> when you create a plum and they're doing the building, yep. everything's plum. Yeah, exactly. And Laser. Yeah. yeah. And that's how you do it. Yep. So um, that's a huge... That's that's And that's why now when we're looking in this room, that appears to... This wall appears smaller than that wall there. So we're in our vision, and when you go in a hallway, what's happening? It's compressing, and you go on a railway track, you'll see those lines are converging. Yeah. So that's 3D perspective. That's in the world, Euclidean geometry, they call it, mm. in the world we live upon. But spherical geometry is like five-point perspective because it's a, no, you look at that uh, five-point perspective drawing... And it's a completely different thing. Would you like me to look it up? Yeah, if you mm, want. I've it's what this. we should be seeing if the world was <clears throat> spherical. Five, we should be five point geometry? Five point perspective five. drawing, if you just want to type that. Five point. You've seen Sorry, the... I know I've like, you know, gone a tangent. Oh, it's top exciting. Top. Oh, we're all right, man. We're all right. This is the first time we've been, and you're so close. We'll be able to do this like so whenever, what's man. What's happening mm. here? What would so happen? This yeah. one here? Even the fourth, fourth one there. This which one? Which is pretty cool. Because imagine it's from a different scale. You're on an aeroplane and everything would be curving away. You'd be seeing you're that high and a building there would be curving away. And, you know, if you could see another one, they'd be, cur- they'd be accounting for this, for this anyway. So not only in linear, right? And you can do it differently. But what you're seeing here is a different type of... Um, it's called non-Euclidean geometry because they're basing it on non the principles of no. Um, eventually, let's say you we had this table. And can we all agree that this table is level and flat? My Theo made it. Hopefully, he yeah, did a cool, good job. Yeah, cool. Beautiful. Yeah, yeah. And even the floor is... But if you had this table and, you, and we were living on a sphere and you made this table 4,000 kilometres long... What would happen is, let's say your table's here, it would it'd actually be like that, wouldn't it? It'd go bang. You'd expect it to go over the curb. Like, literally... If you make it flat, yeah, like flat. Across like that is what would happen. Because you know this is... You'd give the it, earth a hat, Yeah, and if you didn't account for this curvature, like, you know... Yeah. But, and you could extrapolate that even to flights that take wait, off wait, wait. from it. Let, let's, let's, let, let's say... You know that thing that they're building in Saudi Arabia? Yep, that long... That long line? 100-kilometre building, yeah. yeah. The, they did say that the, uh, the they haven't accounted for the curvature of the earth. Yeah, well, he's just throwing oil money left, right, and center. That guy. <laughs> and, and, and you know crazy. what? If a surface is not flat, you know what would happen to that bowl right now? It would roll, wouldn't mm. it? If this was tilted upwards slightly or that way, yeah. everything works like that. And that's yeah, yeah. Let's go and do a dive. Yeah, we, we could dive. Let's go. To, There's oh, one more, and then the next one is I want to hear these, yeah. the. All right, so the next uh, number six is the Illuminati. Mm. Um. Belief in a secret society that controls the world events and controls governments. That's huge, isn't it? That's that's a big one. That's a big one. I've I've heard it. I've heard it from a lot of people in the last ten years. People saying, "Oh, Illuminati, this Illuminati, that." Um, the, they link it with the cabal. 
Um, definitely a very big conspiracy theory. Massive, isn't it? Yeah. And they even leave footprints everywhere. And they do certain kind of symbolism. Currencies and even all of that, don't they? With yeah. The, you know, the American currency, they're literally there and it's, you know, yeah. illuminated. Yeah. But were they once illuminated? Like, what does the illuminated, illuminated mean to ones. see? You know, to see, and then they went bad or something? Maybe there's two sides of them. Were they the Freemasons often, as well? Is that linked together? I don't know. they're not, yeah, they're, the bad, but maybe originally, like, even before the free me, the illuminated ones, you know, because yeah, light is a big thing, even yeah, with of course, everything, isn't of course, it? Even yeah, light and dark, biblical. it's yeah, the polar exactly. opposites. That's right. But you need each one, the yin and the yang. That's right. So maybe they were, you know, like, I, I, yeah, but there's definitely a Something. worldwide group out there. Call them what you want. And even maybe Illuminati. Like, if we, if we know about this word Illuminati, what, is that really the one? Yeah? Maybe yeah. there's other ones it's like that. Area 51, it's like the Epstein mm-hmm. Island thing again. Yeah. Yeah. You know, how many yeah. other yeah. secret groups that I could run? How from, many layers know? deep does there it are? Go? Yeah, there yeah. are. And it goes yeah. back the, to the, the Jesuits. You know, yeah, for sure. And even um, yeah, for sure. The Malta and you oh, know, the, night, like the Knights there, of, the of, Knights of Malta. Malta. It goes yeah, way yeah. back before yeah, wow. even that. You got and the even families. Back to Deep. Babylon, I reckon, mm-hmm. and Sumeria. Who mm-hmm. knows? Mm-hmm. But there's some battle. There Sumerians. <laughs> yeah, well, even biblically, even biblically, is this battle, is it the battle, like, are these the remnants of the Nephilim who, mm-hmm. you know, oh, came biblically yeah. to earth yeah. and they became Spliced bad? their DNA. And, you know, and it's why God flooded the earth again and yeah. chopped down all the tall Younger trees, Jaius they'd say. In, impact theory. Huge, like, huge, um... It's why I've been a conspiracy theorist. I think you just, you know, it's a bad word for it, isn't it? Because you're just trying well, to connect dots. Well, it's conspiracy yeah, realist. Yeah, yeah. Dot connector. Conspiracy uh, realist. realist. Yeah. That's, 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 that's what I like. Yeah. Well, how yeah, many conspiracies like have been proven? Like the next one. The next one is chemtrails. There you go. There you go. What, what have the go- Victorian government here, what, what have they been doing since 1960s? They've been doing cloud seeding. They admit They've it. Been, yeah. They're so good at cloud seeding here, and it's in regulation. It's on the government websites that... Uh, the Saudis are now doing it. Yeah, absolutely. And the Saudis are loving it. Where are they learning it from? They're learning it from Australians. Absolutely. And the military used that. The military used that even in, in um, to assist them with the Vietnam War as well, didn't they? They made it rain. Mm-hmm. And I can't remember what the operation was called. Operation something. Um, Where they flooded all the, uh, the they tunnels. did. They made it rain for three mm. for three months longer than it should have to try and defeat them and you know create the monsoon mm-hmm. extend the monsoon season. But that's a good point that you bring up about chemtrails. Chem yeah. Number one, I'll say, is no wonder why they say Melbourne has four seasons in one day because maybe you guys are freaking controlling. Have you noticed it like the clouds? That. Have you right. noticed yeah, the clouds? Yeah, for sure. They look mate. so fake, bro. I remember when I first told my son about that. Would have been he would have been like 2015. So when like you're when you first came across conspiracy yep, theories, yep, he's 31 yep. now. So yeah, same similar age. Yeah. Yeah, okay, yeah cool. we're 33. And I, that's my eldest son. And I remember one day I was sort of, you know, we were in Sydney and I saw this big trail and they left a cross in the sky. Uh, you know when they do those big crosses? Yeah, 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 I don't yeah, know yeah. what that means. Mm-hmm. It's like, you know, target. Upside down crosses. Or, mm-hmm. like, they've done them as well. Mm. And um, and I said, look at that. Dad. And he's going, no, no, no way. Why would they do that? And he came up with a really good question. He said, well, if they do that to us, then they're doing it to themselves. They're mm. killing themselves. And, you know, to me, I just like, I had no logical answer to that. To that, right? Yeah. To go, okay, then you know, like that's freaky. But, but weather modification definitely is huge. Money, oh, huge cloud seeding, huge. They're business. spraying so much stuff, and apparently, because because I watched a I watched a reel on how the Saudis are doing it, they're pumping salt. Into the clouds. Yes, so, um, well, that's yeah, what they sodium, say. Anyway. Sodium chloride. So yeah. they say, but in, in and barium in sh- and aluminium. Yes, as correct, well? correct. Yeah. Correct. Because that barium and aluminium is what they're doing in Victoria. Exactly. Apparently, the that's barium what doing here. It makes the molecules bond up there, and then the aluminium gives it weight. I could have it the wrong way around, but it gives it the weight then to fall. Right. Yeah. So then you create strong, heavy rainfall. And isn't it funny that you can go to the Massachusetts or uh, MIT? Massachusetts, oh, I say, sorry, mm. oh, mate, I can't Institute say of Technology, yeah, Massa- Massachusetts. right? MIT, and they actually have um, courses or degrees in climate change and geoengineering. They climate call change it, degree, right? dude. Where yeah, can I sign up? Geoengineering dude? <laughs> degrees on ge- or geoengineering. Look, so we call it, you know, chemtrails. This and that. They'll go, no, 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 that's not true. It's but really, it's called yeah, exactly. Uh. Right. So they're really telling you the truth, aren't that's they? The yeah, so, yeah. so, so they'll do that, and then they'll fight for climate change, but they're changing the climate. Yeah, yeah. Where's the fucking logic? In and that? on my YouTube channel, uh, which is Billy Z, like, yeah, I'll put it up. I'll put it up on the thing. Um, yeah. 
I've got a video on there from, you know, Skippy the Bush Kangaroo, that show? <laughs> Kangaroo. Yeah, yeah, Kangaroo. <laughs> and it was, it was a video from like 1967 or, you know, because that's when that show was around. Yeah, yeah. It was created, or this particular episode. And it's on there at Waratah National Park or wherever that, that was. It's a beautiful place. But then it wasn't raining. So then this professor comes in, the Rainmaker, the series mm. is actually called. The oh, Rainmaker the comes Rainmaker. in. And then little Sonny says, Oh, how did you, you know, what are you doing here? And he goes, Oh, yeah, we're going to make it rain. Explains cloud seeding, how really? they like They're literally in your face all the time. Wow. But back then, people weren't really conspiracy theorists, were no. they? There would have been some that knew and saw this. You know, there's always been the. The end is nigh, you know, those guys yeah. in the movies. Like. Yeah, at the, in the biblical times, like <laughs> preaching to a tablet. Right, right, right. Yeah, exactly. And they're always right. Yeah. They're always they, right. They're the right. But everyone's like, movie. you're a fucking idiot. They spit on him, throw tomatoes. Don't they? Yeah, banish him from the city somehow. Yeah. But well, well, look what they did to Jesus. True. Look what they Noah. did to Jesus. Same. Yeah. yeah. They, they say Noah. that Noah was the first conspiracy theorist. Yeah, I yeah. love that. Yeah, I love that. That's cool, isn't it? Oh, that so is true. cool. And you know, I love it, um, meeting people that can say the word and they know about the Bible a bit because they've really inverted everything upside, it's an upside down thing again. When I was young, and I've said this on a few shows, but you know, when I was young, um, you could say that God is real and aliens are fake and everyone would agree with you. They go, that's general consensus in the mm. 1970s. Right, but now... If you say God is real, it's an inversion of that. Mm-hmm. Now it's aliens are real, God is fake. Yeah. Right? Okay. Yeah. And who's the alien? What's we'll say? Oh, yeah, we could have been made by these aliens. They came to, well, that's your God now. So mm-hmm. you've replaced your God with aliens. So it's a very, you know, like, yeah, I hope we dive into, you know, the theology. Oh, as well I'd love point, to. I, I, I've, I've scaled it back from 20. Cool. I'm just going to do 10 now. Go for it. Um, oh, no, don't. Are we going too long or should I stop talking? Yeah, no, no, no. Just, you're, you're fine. You're refine fine. Refine my answers a bit. Yeah. Because uh, I, I reckon we, you know. Kamal uh, talking all the time, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that bloody Kamal, huh? <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so the next one is actually the flat earth. But I was thinking of skipping that. And then we'll do it after, because the, the next two that I want is flat Earth. Maybe right? everything and then, will tie into that. So yeah, yeah, do that later if you want. Yeah, I reckon you know, some of these will. So we'll skip flat Earth. The next know? one's COVID nineteen. Okay, that's a mega one. Massive. Uh, that's like the, bigger than nine eleven. I reckon, if you think yeah. about it, because they use nine eleven as a like, all right, how much did we get away with here? Yeah. And then they go, all right, let's try to get away with the whole planet. I agree, the, uh, I agree, the, yeah. And, and if you look at it from a, just the grand scale of the operation, like 9-11 affected a certain amount of people, you know, America massively. Yeah. Sure, you know, the, you know there are a lot people. of other people too and millions of people died in Iraq, so I can't but, say, oh, no, it didn't affect a lot of people. It affected these, more Iraqis than it did actual Americans. Didn't it? Yeah. It killed millions of people for nothing, children and just innocent civilians. But, you know, oh, when you go to terrible. COVID, they did the same Innocent people didn't copped they? it, man. Didn't they? It's like yeah. I was trying to separate, but no, it's the same, but at a grander level, grander scale. Mm. Because I think <laughs> a all, globals. Yeah, at a well, scale. They, they oh, say yeah, globalists. Yeah, yeah. And I, did that. I did that one. Even, did. Yeah, everyone what? believes they live on a ball, so you can easily convince them. If they believe that, mate, <laughs> they'll believe freaking anything. Well, the th- Right? Yeah, yeah. yeah, you live on a ball. Where's the proof? Oh, it's not a real proof. Oh, you just got to trust the science again. <laughs> right? Well, back the flat earth, that. that's the biggest conspiracy. That that's even bigger than COVID-19. connects back to that. The control of yeah. where you live, man. Yeah. That's what, doesn't it? And yeah. even including where you live, your house. Yeah. You know, yeah. Your, 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 what your eyes see. Trusting your, your senses. senses. The senses. I got it in the book here. Um, mm-hmm. knowing, knowing thyself. Where you is, know, if, if you're knowing trying... Knowing thyself, exactly. You yeah. want to learn about who you are and, and, and the deeper... Thoughts, feelings, thoughts, vibrations of oneself. How are you supposed to That's get fantastic. started on that yeah. when you don't even know what you're standing on? Exactly. Yeah. You know exactly. I mean? <laughs> I'll read a quote out of your book. Um, In the Middle Ages, people believed that the earth was flat, for which they had at least the evidence of their senses. We believe it to be round, not because as many as 1% of us could give the physical reasons for such a quaint, for so quaint a belief but because modern science has convinced us that nothing that is obvious is true and that everything that is magical, improbable, extraordinary, gigantic, microscopic, heartless or outrageous is scientific. Mm-hmm. George, George Bernard Shaw. Beautiful, isn't it? And these guys were like, you know, scientists, philosophers. You know, it's got, the, the book's actually got a lot of 
quotes from scientists that were questioning. So they go, you know, scientists will they all believe in the Big Bang Theory and the evolution, and no, not at all. And, mm. you know, science is about knowledge, isn't it? And these guys had no proof. Of it. So to be an honest scientist, to be you know, one that is really out there to understand nature and how it works, you're going to have to admit at one point, oh, I don't know it all. Mm. Mm. I don't know. And a lot of, you know, these, these people are egotists and they just won't say that. And including the COVID that people let's yeah. go back to yeah, that yeah, let's go back to right COVID, yeah because that's a big one and even yeah. then you know they didn't know that you know like masks are good and you know wear masks where's your mask and you know yeah. they were brainwashed with that one month before there's no one i've never seen masks being worn of you like in public the only and all time of a sudden now you're, you're yeah. expert on masks expert I, I on lockdown to, yeah, expert yeah. on i went to japan in 2018 right and i bought a pack of masks black blacked out just those standard yeah they look the blue ones but they were black okay People in Japan were wearing them if they were sick. That's logical. They'd wear I've it. I've seen that, yeah. Right? Yeah. And I liked it because I'm just like, if I put this mask on, facial identification can't really be good. Yeah, yeah. So I started doing that in 2019 when I'd cast the train and go into the city. The next year, everyone's wearing masks. And I was like, what the fuck? Everyone was wearing masks. They did this whole big campaign worldwide. Well, to, a, a global virus and going back to the, oh, the yeah, war, yeah, global yeah, war yeah, on yeah. terror. <laughs> You know yeah, what? no You're, shit. You know, so they yeah. were conditioning people mm. from with the mask thing for quite some time. Universal Studios logo. Yeah. <laughs> even a lot of, you know, even the um, 2012 um, opening ceremony um, Olympics. Have you seen the two? Th- go look at that. That is trippy as. Is that the full, uh, say, the, the thing in CERN where they, oh no, that's, that was that's separate. That's the CERN one. That's yeah, another yeah. one. That's mm. a huge concern as well. Mm. Concern. Concern, but that's yeah. good. Yeah. But, um, is that opening ceremony? Opening, yeah. You will trip out of this in London? one. Because they literally yeah, yeah, had, was cooked. N- n- I've got that one, the third video. That's the one? COVID-19. Oh, oh, yeah, the COVID-19. The, COVID the virus. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Pro- nurses dancing mm. and this big grim reaper with a big, um, with a big uh, syringe, it looked like. Mm, it's yes, oh, yeah. like hospital. Oh, that they right. That's not from there. But they were trying to. This video is trying to connect it. But look at it, dancing nurses. And what do we get? Dancing nurses. So everything in this video that looks like this guy is trying to connect the dots. Um, NHS. Yeah. yeah. See, mm. it was actually had it. In, National health scheme. Yeah. Is that look what at all the is? pyramidal um, Illuminati stuff. Let's go see the background. Wait, wait. Go look around the stadium. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Crawling, crawling demons. Lovely. Kids in hospitals. Mm. Look in the background. It's like the, the monsters the, Inc. The they're triangles. trying to steal the energy from the children, bro. Yeah, all the pyramids, I should say. There's the Chinese lady featured in the Wuhan. The horses, Wuhan clan. The horses. <laughs> 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 the Wuhan clan. She, yeah. Crazy. Just a coincidence. But yeah, 9-11. Oh, sorry. Um, COVID-19 COVID. was like, Dude, we copped it pretty hard being in Melbourne, Victoria. You know, one of the worst in the world. We got locked down for how many days? 200 plus days? 260. Nearly a whole year. Yeah, yeah. yeah, We have five kilometre radius. Danny Andrews telling you you're killing your grandma. I know. And you had people agreeing with him going, yeah, "Yeah, lock us down. Give me more, Daddy. Lock me down. Lock me down harder. What the fuck? What is that about? That was shocking. Shocking. 8 p.m. Can't go out of your house at 8 p.m. The virus is going to be out more. But you know what they had? The heroin injecting room still open. You can oh, travel anywhere in Melbourne yeah. and go and, and so does that mean if the cops pulls you over and you're going they they're going, you're out of your five K Mate, radius. I just Where need to I inject going? some heroin. Oh yeah, I'm going to the city, it's like I've got to do heroin. It's like, oh okay, you go run along. Brothels were open. Oh the brothels yeah, were yeah, close yeah, the yeah. churches, close all the shops, mm. close the bottle, people. The bottle shops remained open. And make yep. them fight. Mm. Get the people fighting against each other. Oh, you saw that as well it. when it was like just like Far out. What am I watching? The way the you know they'd come up to you. And, Where's your mask? You know they come up to you right here to go. Where's your mask? Why aren't you wearing a mask? And I'm going. Why don't you come right up to me? Where is it? Get away. Yeah. yeah. Well, what about at the protests when you'd have those anti people like the, the anti the counter? I know the, the, the counter, counter like, yeah. wearing their masks and getting. In I know. Face. Yeah. All we did disguised a, as well. Yeah. You know how yeah. You yeah. Said before it was good for you. Yeah. To that feel was disguised. good. It was good for them. Well, now it's good for them because yeah. you see them in you know in America watching some crazy videos. Yeah. They walk into shops and steal whatever, mm. and they're wearing those masks. Those you people don't know are who's so who. brainwashed. Of COVID or are you doing it to those hide people your are so brainwashed, right? They were against the 
the freedom fighters essentially, right? But then now they're pro Palestine, going to the, all the Palestine protests. I've, I've noticed that, you know, a lot of those Aren't people. I'm, I'm kind of happy that they've same. jumped on board with that, but I, I wouldn't go to one because. No, because, yeah, yeah. I've well, done my part with the other one. You know, now just grab a tea towel and put on your head and go there and protest for something. Now, like, come on, man, you know? Sorry. They just yeah. need so, something to rude. do. Sorry, but that's what they're doing. Yeah, they've got <laughs> no actual going, idea about what actually like happened. They're trying to dress like a Palestinian now by putting, you know, what that, what is this? It's virtual signaling. It's virtue isn't signal, it? signaling, yeah. You know, yeah it's just yeah. whatever the next thing is. And if there's something else this week. Ukraine last year, yeah, exactly. now, now yeah, it's if Palestine. That goes away, Palestine goes away, it'll be the next thing that Dude, comes along. Palestine's been copping it f- since World we 12, we've known about Palestine. We've got Palestinian friend. Oh, for you know, sure, yeah. He, he, you know, he came here, the Australian government paid. I think 150 to 200 grand in surgeries because the Mossad threw him into a burning tire yard. I- wow. IDF. Below, uh, IDF, mm. Israeli mm. Defence Force. Wow. Same, same. Yeah. Same, same. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. exactly. You know, Both funded by America. Isn't mm. it? And you wonder whether the other group, you know, even Hamas, I've heard, was funded by them, created yeah. by... You know, they create their own enemy. It's cool. Because then control that much. narrative. You don't want a loose enemy just doing whatever mm, you want. Yeah, no, you want to control the enemy. And that's yeah. what they're good at. They're good at doing that, aren't they? Yeah. Yeah, very, very good. COVID 19, you know what? And what they did just sort of, you know, about the animosity and the hostility, and I've mentioned it briefly, is, you know, it's that um, experiment where they can get, you know, black ants and red ants and they put them in the jar and they'll survive on their own corner and they'll live and you put a bit of food and they'll go get the bit and bring it back to the other col- to the colony. But you get that jar and you shake it up. And they will kill each other. Mm. Every ant goes against every ant. It's like, you know, and that's what happened. They shook it up. They've done these experiments here with mice and with all sorts of creatures. And we're just a creature They've as well. They've probably got artificial mind. intelligence telling them what to do now, man. You know, yeah, who knows? But Satan, they just even listen <clears throat> to this message in their head. You know, I don't know. They're just, it's an evil freaking world. It's crazier than we could mm. even imagine. Like when I hear, heard that there was the Church of Satan and Victoria has the most Satanist... In the whole world, in what? Australia, that's crazy. Google it. Jesus yeah, everything God. I say, just Google it, man, to verify. You don't have to keep doing it, but I'm saying to listeners, I wouldn't be saying if I, my eyes yeah. haven't seen this. Crazy, <laughs> absolutely crazy. That And Victoria has the highest amount, and we were the most locked down. So is Dan yeah. Andrews part of them? And who are these guys that go to the church? Mate, Dan Satan? Andrews just got out of there. They say, don't take, the right chi- don't take your children to church. It's brainwashing. But they've got their church of... <laughs> don't wow. take your children. Wow. Um, just vaccinate them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Do yeah. an experiment. Now they're, ch- they're trying to get 700 children to participate in a new vaccine. And the parents are taking really? it. Ex- really? Mm. Yeah, it's pretty you nice. Know, but they wouldn't take their dog there. So there was a new experiment for a dead pet, <laughs> would they? You know, my poodle, oh no, you know, you take your children. Yeah, sacrifice my children instead. Yeah, far out, man, just yeah. the mentality. It's and they're evil, a lot of people are evil, and, you know, I think that's, the as, I said, as, as we said before, the biggest trick, you know, is like to telling it. people it doesn't, you know, that the devil doesn't exist. Yeah, yeah literally. Anyway. All right, let's, uh, let's dive into the... Uh, the flat Earth theory, the, yeah, biggest, the biggest, the biggest, the biggest conspiracy of all time, the biggest, and it's good. I like this. You know why? Because now with all the other ones, because that's where I was at. They all I was at like a research nine eleven and the moon landings and you know everything. And it, you know that was in I think it was in two thousand and fourteen that someone, um, one of my Facebook friends said, I was posting a video of. The ball earth, and you know, I was like right into that. So, I, you know, I enjoyed the heliocentric model because the Greeks invented it. Hell out of that, You know, heliocentric means sun in the middle, the sun being centered, and we are, you know, focus around the yes. sun. Yes. And the sun becomes the god of everything because without the sun, we die. But then that's what they were focused on. So, heliocentric. And I was right, right into that model. If you think about it, sorry to cut you off, no, if you think anytime. about it in a solar system kind of way. How special is the Earth? It's like the Garden of Eden, right? It's literally the Garden of Eden. It's, it's, it's the only a, place with such beauty and nature. I think yeah? the Earth in our apparent solar system, who world, knows, in in, yeah, in, in this, this in this whatever you call system, it, yeah. is the mo- is is the most important thing. It's more important than the sun. Yeah, what, I reckon and what because is, you're the, right. the sun is just beautiful. The sun is a ball of gas. Yeah. And when we look well, up into it? the we stars... Know, yeah. Well, so, so they say. Yeah. Who knows? Yeah, cool. I'm just Thanks. going Sorry. based on whatever. Yeah. Yeah. We look up into the sky and we see thousands of these, right? But we still haven't discovered one Earth. 
and they've been looking for you know what forever. I, that that's part of the trick. The I'm earth, trying, the earth is I'm so. I'm trying to get into flat earth. It's like a diamond. It's like you're the, right, the but most. Then, but that's part of the. You know, I think you're sort of. You're gonna get get there with this. Okay, I hope so. Convince we, me. Yeah. Big, you know, that's the because yeah. this is a big thing. Trying to um, what we do is we we confuse two models together. When we hear about flat Earth, we're now going, oh, there's a solar. You know, the Earth's flat, yeah. but there's still a solar system with mil- stars millions and millions of miles away, and you yep, know, yep. the sun. Oh, it's a gas body. It's ninety three million miles away, and we know that. And you know, d- during the Goldilocks zone, or and the this average distance of the sun is ninety three, because I reckon it it changes through perihelion and aphelion, meaning we get closer and further to the sun through the year, right? But now you're trying to imagine, oh wow, so flat Earth ties in with that model? No, just forget Different about model. what you were taught. That rather than us on a ball. The sun being the heliocentric in the middle, and that's what they first believed with the heliocentric model. It was very simple. Yeah. Back in the you know, fourteen fifty or six fifteen hundred when Copernicus and all those guys postulated the heliocentric model. Yeah. Um, they postulated that the sun is here and the Earth goes around the sun, and the moon goes around the Earth, and in the stars. They really didn't have much answers for that. They were sort of <laughs> and trying, to, but that was a very simple model that we, you know, the sun's in the center. Got, but now it's changed. Now it's gone to the point where the sun is flying through the universe. Us chasing the sun, yep. doing all these crazy speeds, and the stars tagging now. along. And because people started to ask questions along the way, well, how come? Then, and not only people, but even astrologers along the way were going, okay, well, how come we do see the same stars every night? So what's going? So you got to, as I was trying to say, we've got to separate their bullshit model of being the, you know, this universe with millions of stars and they're millions of miles away, and you know, um, there could be other life on these things, to a model where a fixed stationary Earth may be founded into the foundation, like bottom level, man. We don't, you know, picture a bottom level thing, like. You know your teeth in pre into your like. If you look at the he- the Hebrew depiction of the, that's how they had it. They had like these pillars that were fixed into the ground, and the earth was like just part of this, embedded into it like this, and just flat with a dome going over it. And we don't know what's like above a snow that. globe, like, like a, a snow globe, like pretty snow much. Globe. Is how every religion, every the Mayans, the Greeks, the the um, every culture, the Japanese, the uh, the ancient Aboriginals had the same concept of. This flat, motionless earth with two brothers at both ends holding up this dome or structure. Because you've got to have, with one of the questions you asked before about the vacuum of space and how is that possible. And flat earth's a really d- deep topic because not only, number one, it brings all these other topics together, but number two, it um, you've got to start thinking differently about this world. You're not going to go... Those stars are billions and billions of miles away. Like when you look through your telescope, you go, wow, they're pretty close. When you see the sun passing over you during the, you know, you're going to go, okay, well, am I spinning a thousand miles an hour to create sunlight? Mm. Or is the sun actually going past me as it appears? Is the moon passing me? as, it, Or am I spinning a thousand miles an hour standing upside down on a ball? That's a big thing to... Um, to question, and that's where I went. So even though, so I'll try and go back a little bit. Yep. Because all these other questions that you asked me, I was like, I knew about all, you know, all of them you'd go, yep, no worries. Um, yep, lied about 9-11, lied about the moon landings. I'd agree with them. But then when I got to Flat Earth, that's what I was going to say, I used to post a lot of things. And then one day I posted a picture of a ball, which I thought was a real photo of our Earth from space. <laughs> and then a friend's gone, nah, man, the Earth's flat. You've got to look into that. And point being, I'll... Already knew about every other conspiracy, but this one I was like, no, nah, no way, and I argued against it. And I really, yeah. for me, I was started at trying to prove it was a spinning ball. I was trying to prove the helio- heliocentric model, no shit, which is what a lot of people mm-hmm. do. Like, I wanted to debunk flat Earth. It was like, what? Mm. These people are freaking crazy to believe that, you know, all of the scientists around the world could lie to us about where we live. Yeah. And I think that's what they've been doing for many, many years. And, well, you know, they do lie to us about. Nearly everything. Nearly everything. Else. So is this one, but I resisted. And then one day I had to go, hang on. I'm That's gonna, where I'm, I'm at. I'm going to sit on the, the fence yeah. and I'm just going to be honest with myself. What yeah. proof 
have I got that can prove that we live on a spinning ball? Yeah. And I didn't have any. So I started watching both sides of the debate. You know, watching people say, yeah, it's a ball, definitely. You know, why would they loan all those guys? And here's some fake photos of the earth. And mm. I had to, you know, like trust NASA again. Mm-hmm. The people that I don't believe in their moon landing, but now I'm trusting them for your ball science and all that. Ball science. Yeah, it's like <laughs> bullshit. Yeah, yeah. So it's very... Um, I then had to, yeah, as I said, started to look at both sides. What evidence is there for a ball? Yeah. Well, really, I'm trusting other people with their photos. They're trying to tell me gravity... You know, but yeah. I can explain gravity in many other ways compared to Newtonian or didn't Sandra Bullock, Didn't gravity. Sandra Bullock did a movie on gravity? Yeah, and they, you know, <laughs> put that out there at a perfect time to really, you know, they probably the knew this it. debate was coming as well. Because it has to. People were eventually going to ask themselves, are those photos of space real? Or I don't know whether it was leaked on purpose by the, the good guys mm. to make us open our freaking eyes. Yeah, but um, then you got to go. Well, if it is a ball, how far is the curvature? That should be the first thing. So let's put it to sim- let's try and simplify. It. Because if you're gonna do, if we're gonna start to go, how far are the stars? And uh, mm. why are we looking up there to prove here? Right, we should be able to do this here. Prove the ground. At what part? At what distance does it curve? Is a big question, shouldn't it? Because mm. that's where the topic really came into discussion when Pythagoras. Or Aristotle, two and a half thousand years ago, they, they claimed that he was at the beach and he watched a ship disappear and it disappeared hull first into the distance and he assumed that was because of the sphericity of the earth, that it was spherical. Mm. And that's where this whole debate... So, so okay, we've got this guy two and a half thousand years ago, he didn't have a telescope, didn't have a P900, didn't have a telescope. Probably had a sort of lucky, maybe... But yeah, I know, and he's at the beach at like 50, 60, 70 years old trying to see a boat... Go, well, and that's what our math came from. Then we had Eratosthenes, Ar- who mm. then had the shadow experiment. Exactly. And in yep, Egypt, yep. and he, you know, yep. another guy in Cyrene. You know, Alexandria. Yeah, somewhere. Alexandria and Cyrene. Some, you know, two locations. They measured the um, shadows. And, you know, you can measure shadows. Well, I could put shadows here. And does that mean this table is, you know, look at that shadow on that cup compared to the shadow on, you know, it depends what the light is as well, doesn't it? Yeah. But yeah. And if you're assuming a distant sun, yeah. it's going to be further than a local sun. So they didn't even know how far the sun was. Yeah. So to come up with all these assumptions, they had to make assumptions, yeah, they basically, did. even back then. But they didn't really think they lived on a ball back then anyway. They, they didn't know... Sorry. They believed they lived... Some began to believe they lived on a ball, but they didn't think they went around the sun. They still thought the sun went around them. We were the, so that's still the, geocentric now. So now we go from heliocentric, which is what are the current beliefs. It's a geocentric yeah, yeah, yeah. here being the Earth centered around the universe, which is like what you said. It seems like everything's focused around us, well, doesn't that, it? Yeah. Well, yeah. We're prob- the most. The most is happening on Earth. If there is aliens, they're still observing us. They're probably we're the best entertainment in the galaxy. You know what <laughs> I mean? Like, look at us. We've got Married at First Sight. We've got all these <laughs> ridiculous <laughs> like years going on. I know. Sex in the City and all these yeah. shows that can just sway women we're, to... We're know, probably the biggest drama... Big career women now, just from a show. Yeah? Yeah, yeah that did. That wrecked so many... Didn't it? Yeah, now social media, next level. Yeah. Yeah. Now we're at the yeah, next level of that, exactly, right? Man. Insanity. Yeah. And that's what they've done, and they've turned around, you know, the world. So coming from a... From that point of view, they made people... Back then, every culture on the Earth believed that the Earth was flat and we were at the centre of the universe and the sun went around us, just as it appears. But it was only through mathematics that they changed mm. everything. They now started going, oh, you know, the, the sun is this far and, you know, Venus is that far. And because it's that... that hey, you never measured Venus. You never measured the... Physically measured the, the circumference of the Earth either. But they came up with math before they had the physical proof for mm. distance. So now they could easily go, well, if the Earth is this radius and that must and the, and Venus is this far, that means the sun is this big, 400 times bigger than the Earth, don't they say? Or yeah. 400 times distant than the moon and all these. And But they look the same size up there. But our eyes see they're the same size. But they could come up with these parallax thing that, you know... And that was a huge part about it. I think, I think the big, biggest secret to unlocking flat Earth is to understand how our, our eyes work. 
And I sort of touched on that before with 3D perspective yep. to 5D. Yep. And, you know, the biggest thing is to understand that when you are like, let's say you're at the beach and you're seeing the water there, what am I seeing? I'm seeing a straight horizon, a horizontal line at that point. And then I'm seeing the water ramping up. Don't you? You see the water yeah. appear to go upwards and the sky appear to come downwards. Don't you? And yeah. everything. And you see that in a long hallway or a highway as well. You're driving down the highway, you see a point. Everything's coming to a point. Or even if you're standing on top of a building, you're looking down. Our eyes are going to do this. So they hijacked our eyes, our perspective, for curvature in a way. Yeah? yeah? Because even Aristotle, he didn't understand how his eyes worked. But then apparently, and I don't believe a full narrative anyway, that the Greeks did this to an I don't. I think even history is... Mm. A freaking lie too. Bit of a sham. Well, it's his, his, sham. his story, right? Isn't it? His story. Give me one sec. I'm just going to turn the aircon off yeah, because cool. it's bloody, it's freezing here. Yeah, now, you can't. Yeah, cool. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Perfect. We, we, we didn't uh, actually talk about one of the more recent uh, so-called conspiracies. And um, I know a lot of the OGs are looking into that now, but uh, the whole Tartarian. Uh, Tartarian. Uh, yeah, massive. yeah. Yeah, I touched on that in my book as well. Um, briefly. But mm. just to put seeds, yeah, I didn't mm. want, you know, even I didn't want to like convince anyone of anything. Mm -hmm. Actually, just read mm. it and you know, just learn from it, just like question <laughs> got, it. Got some know? notes here on Tartaria. Mm. The yeah. Tartaria can sorry, but well, that's hang huge on, too, on. isn't it? We're gonna Massive. we'll maybe come back we'll, to that. We'll come back to Tartaria. Yeah. I've got it ready. But, though. You know, just on flat Earth, if we can just sort of go the physical aspects of what can we actually prove? Yeah, done. What I can prove is, is that water is level at rest. So this. You know, look at this, let's, you know, put it and let it rest so it's not moving around and there's no other force acting upon it. You'll see that's level. And if I then get this bottle and I'll make sure the lid's on, but I'll do it this way, it's going to find a level again as well. That line there is level. And you can build with this. You can actually build and measure level and they do that. That's part of the building process. Yeah, level, yeah. water level is a huge... We factor. use those um, hoses, the clear hoses, and ax, when, when we're doing bricklaying work. Yeah, in Greek, I remember yeah. there's a Greek guy, the uh, Axilopti, something like that it's yep. called. Right? Yep. Yeah, but that's a, um, the hoses, definitely. You yeah. can do that over a grand distance and you'll find the two level points exactly at both level. locations. Exactly, exactly level. Exact yeah. level. I've done that for about 20, like, 20 to 30 metres. Likewise, my dad was a builder and we said you do fencing. Long yeah. fence, and we'd use that. That's yeah. how you'd make it plumb. That's how you make level, it level. Like, like those physical levels. Yeah, yeah. So you go, what can I use? And water Net is always level. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, And that is the biggest thing. So then you go, okay, water is level in this bottle, as we just proved, and you did too. Is it level in? It's level in a glass. Is it level in a sink when you leave it? Right? Yes. Is it mm. level, level in a bathtub? Is it level in a swimming pool? Yes. Is it level in a lake? Yes. Is it level at the ocean? Oh, no, it curves around the earth. 70% of the earth, they say, is covered by this liquid called water that is always six level, but it happens to just wrap, it, wrap mm. itself around a ball that's spinning at 1,000 miles an hour that's flying around the sun at 66,000 miles an hour. As the sun flies through the universe, universe at 500,000 miles an hour, as the universe expands at 1.2 billion mi million miles an hour as Big well. Big numbers. <laughs> like <Yeah>. crazy. <laughs> but this water's level. It never moves. So can we prove Earth curvature? This is like, you know, really for anyone listening, even for yourself, what, what have you done? What experiment could you do to prove the curve then? If you're sitting on the fence on this topic, where, what would you be? Is your The, only, the what, only, I guess, experiment that I have taken... Uh, that I've participated in that makes me or well, keeps me on the fence is that I went from Santiago, Chile, yep, right, uh, which is in South America, um, and I flew to Melbourne, Australia, okay, right, direct flight, or I can show you on that, but that's uh, I don't know, should I, should I bring it? He's gonna break it. <laughs> okay, well, it, yeah, but no. And, and what was did it go direct flight from? So it was it was a di it was a direct flight. Yeah. It was sixteen hours, right? Okay, cool. and this is what I'm trying to. I want to put the globe there, and I want to put it next to the flat Earth map, so yeah, we can cool. kind of give it give it Good a bit idea. of perspective. Good idea. Yeah. Um, my sister bought that for my birthday, so right. Yeah. Don't I, I don't know if my sister's a part of the Illuminati and she's trying to <laughs> brainwash. Like what if you just pull it up on the screen here, uh, Google uh, Earth or whatever? Oh, yeah, even lovelier. Support Google, bro. <laughs> 
that's it. <laughs> Good. And you'll find the just go Gleason map, so you'll find the flat Earth map on there as well, or what's been touted as the All right, so flat Earth map. Google Maps. My mistake yeah. earlier, I mentioned the AE map, but that's the lunar reflection. Yeah, well, that type still of becomes thing. as an aqua, aqua distant, mm -hmm. um, as a muffle equidistant map is what AE stands for. But it, even understanding that is a hard thing mm. to do because you know how we, if you take a normal map like even a street map as we used to use in the old days, every square was, every grid was a square, a perfect square with four right angles, right? We know that. There's no place another map, another grid. Everything's based on grids. Cartesian, Cartesian grid system, it's called. But if you look on this map here, and maybe we can try and show, mm. yeah, bring that up there, you'll see that there's no squares on here. All of these splay outward, mm -hmm. don't they? So why is Australia so big? Because it splays out and maybe it has to do that to project itself. And it's not my hand, it could be this big, but if mm. I splay it, it's now this big. Mm -hmm. What's the actual size? Is it is it is it um accurate? Is it perfectly I don't think so. Because when this guy did it, it was um nineteen no eighteen ninety two. It's a patented mm -hmm. map, this mm -hmm. map here. Um but how did he measure everything? Did he? Yeah. Did you measure everything before you brought the, yeah, it, so that, That's why even even Google Maps, like right, cartography so has been messed with for... Hasn't it? Yeah, yeah. And, and start of time. Like well e even this, you know, yeah, like we don't know if this has been absolutely. messed with just slightly. It's a concept. And all it shows is that the sun could orbit around the earth and mm. come back around again and come back at the top just like this. Mm -hmm. And that's what this map is showing and the moon does too. And they can measure... It makes a lot of sense, even with the analema. You can mm. see in the in the southern As we can, hemisphere, or yeah. on this side of the equator, if you like. Um, so yeah, grab that. Oh, sorry. Pull it that, up. Pull, no, pull but to even, you. So what I'm saying is around here, let's yep. call this, yep. that's North Pole, Polaris, the star yep. directly yep. above that, yep. um, would be um, the, the star, the, the North, oh, sorry, the <laughs> North right. Star. Thanks, man, to, and, um, oh, where are we? It doesn't like this surface, mm. does it? Or have I got that back there? Is no. it working? No. I've killed Where's it the mouse? Back. Oh, no, it's there. It's there. Move. Oh, there yeah, it is. It seems not to want to go on. I need oh, to get another mouse pad. Yeah. But um, what you'll see is the sun. Imagine the sun circuiting, and the mouse isn't sort of. I th it maybe the batteries are. <laughs> maybe the batteries are. Yeah, my, my mouse is. Hello, Ed. You need day. another double A. What's the go? Should I get one now? Should I call Shah? That's all right. Yeah, that's what I do. Give it like Hello, 15 Dave. seconds of yeah. life there, you know. Well, uh, I I've done, done this a thousand affair. times and it still yeah, works. Yes, yeah, I was doing that all last week. This Aussie bloke planned obsolescence. This Aussie bloke puts them in the freezer. I've for a day and then well. it pulls it out and it works I've seen, again. No, it's not working. Yeah, I guess you mm. Should I oh, use this one? It's connected to the USB. Now. Here we go. So let's picture that you know this earth is is flat on the ground, just like yep, this map yep, we've got yep, here. Yep. So these are the northern northern hemisphere. Yep. Or and the southern regions. So north so what's happening is during their summer in America, or the people in the Northern Hemisphere, this yep. region, the sun is circuiting like this. And um, over the period, it goes out to the equator. So there's, imagine, a line here, and there is a line somewhere here. Yep. This is where yep. the equator is, and that's why any country within these regions are always get beautiful tropical weather. Yep, yep. And then as it... We're, they're having summer, we're having our winter. As it orbits through the year, and it does this, and then it gets wider and starts doing this circuit. And yeah. now we're having our summer because it's passing over here. And they're having their winter. They're having their winter. And it comes back again. And it keeps doing this and it keeps winding out. And whether, when they measure this, it forms an analema. That's what I was going to say before. So what they realise is here, it does a number eight, which is what an analema is. You'll see, you've probably seen that when they mm. take a photo of the it's sun. Beautiful. It's beautiful, isn't mm. it? Once a day, I think they do it, or once a... Yeah, well, once a month, day at the same, at same time, time, every day for 365 days. It's a beautiful days. number eight, but you'll see it's wider out here mm. than it is here. And that shouldn't happen on a globe. If this is a ball and with equal, um, you, you wouldn't have you, you wouldn't have a, an eight with a, a wider bottom loop, if you like. It should be equal. Yeah, like there's an infinity a, sign. There's a, yeah, yeah, like an infinity sign, exactly. Which, what is the sun? Infinite. 
that's why I believe, you know, mm. um, it's uh, infinite. They, the Chinese knew about this. The sun is infinite. And a lot makes sense when you start to look at Flat Earth and question, like, yeah, question the maps. So if, can you bring up a photo? Just type um, photo of Earth from space. <laughs> So, because really, yep, it's 2024. Yep. Before we do that, can yep. I show you the flight path that I, yeah, that oh, I went on? Thank you, thank you. No worries. So, and let's track uh, this that. Is on a, there. This is a okay. Malakia. I didn't, I didn't do that. Sure. Right. My flight did this. It went down really? through here, and then I went this way. So from I went, yeah, there, right. Okay. And then I went up through to oh. Melbourne. So, so where did he go? apparently going this. straight sure. takes so longer. He, he, could have, he, he could have just easily just run around the rim. Yeah. Around. So okay. that's what I'm trying, to, I'm trying okay. to figure out because I looked out my window on yeah. the fucking plane, right? It's ice for... And I, all I could see was ice. Are you serious? All I could see was I, and like ice. Everything was just white, dude. Do you know for how long? Do you remember? For this part. So it showed me, In yeah. In terms of I hours, went through, like... I went through Drake's Passage... Right, well, I went through Drake Passage, yeah. and then it because was like it's this. quicker to go uh, that's below, what like through the curve, you know, under the curve. I know, it's, yeah, I'm you know, trying to, yeah, I'm trying to. It did that, but, but that's not. Yeah, <laughs> that's not. It took real, me right? seven, sixteen to seventeen hours to do that. Apparently, that was by the because I asked the uh, flight attendant. Okay, uh, why are we going this way? Yeah. Instead of going over the ocean. Okay, what they say? They go, oh, you know, it's uh, it's it's quicker, it's safer in case the plane crashes. We crash on uh, ice and then ice. Just eat each other like that. <laughs> and I was just like, yeah, look, I was kind of petrified of going over the Pacific Ocean because I'm like, what MH three eighty? If this one drops in the Pacific, yeah, I'll be yeah. fucking rooted. Yeah, uh, yeah, three hundred and seventy. Sorry, but doesn't that seem fucking way longer? It's a very good question. And how fast was the plane going? The plane know? was going at approximately 900 kilometers an how hour. How do you know anyway? Because yeah. the screen says it. Exactly. Yeah. That's right. That, and that's all I know. I was going based off the screen. A lot of people screen. have done some great, you know, um, investigation into this and the flight times. Mm, and yeah. There's a guy who wrote a book. Um, we can put that back over there. Um, so Eddie Al McCant. Al McCant. He wrote a book called... 16 emergency flights that prove flat earth because a lot of these flights they take, as you said, there's yeah, discrepancies. Yeah. Why are you going from there yep, to yep. there? And there's, there's a lot of different factors to consider when we're um, trying to work out flight times and even they are, they are, they, are, not they, but even they flight them. controllers. No, I mean even <laughs> flight controllers. And, yeah, yeah. yeah the they, them. <laughs> even flight controllers. Um, it's a complex. They're not just taking in... Um, the plane speed and the distance, they're taking in the wind speed up there. Have you heard of jet streams? Oh, yeah, the bees use them. There. The bees use them bees to travel. The bees use them. They've used them in hot air balloon. They get up to a certain thing and they get into this thing yeah, that goes yeah, like yeah. three, four, 500 kilometers per hour. And there's a website. Do you mind bringing up this website? Yeah, of course. This will, of make, course. A lot of, this will make a lot of sense. And What's the website? It's called um, Go. Bob wins. You probably won't find it on. Oh no! Are we heading into um? Bob oh, wins oh, the yeah, flat yeah, Earth yeah, map. Cool. What are you oh. using? What engine? Google or? Uh, this must be because they're showing you a bit of stuff. Okay, cool. So at the bottom mm. menu, at the bottom right, I'll hand piss this off. Which Google one? Maps? If you want, yeah. Yep. So see what's happening here. Okay, oh so wow! So this is a cool. This is so go to the menu at the bottom here. Yep. Like yep, this part yep. here. And then it'll show you different projections. So if you go to the projection one, this part here, projection, As and then choose, choose the globe. This is on a globe, what they reckon. This is how they reckon all the trade winds mm. work on Earth. Spin the ball around if you want. Give it a spin. <laughs> yeah, laddie. Give it a spin. I'll put it on Australia. Like yeah, Australia. Yeah, look at it. Go. So see how they reckon this is all the winds trade and they know to go this here. way. But look at this one's going that way and that way. And look at all this crazy shit, basically. Go on as a muffle yep. projection. Mm. This is a flat earth map. This is the map you're seeing here. Oh, wow. Right? See? As a muffle. Look, as a muffle. Bob, yeah. That's See? the same as the flat. That's Look, exactly it's, the same as the flat earth map. That's Australia exactly looks like what it a, is. a little Kuradi rectangle. <laughs> exactly <laughs> what it is. Exactly. And you know what? I don't reckon we know. How did they in the 18, eight, you know, they went around cartographers. Was it Joseph Banks? No, Banks was the botanist. Who was the guy? Um, Matthew Flinders, I think, was a big... 
Cartog was a cartographer yeah. as well. Big pubs, Matthew you Flinders. Know, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Get yeah, pissed, you know, mate. Yep. Um, but <laughs> how did he from go his boat and then go into land? Because you know, how did you measure exactly the shape mm. of the earth? Like, really? Anyway, who knows what shape? What was that? Eighteen hundreds. Point B. If you look in the outer circuits, yep. where Australia is, look at the way the wind goes. But look at the inner. It's blowing in a different direction. Mm. So do you want to zoom in on that? So Just from here, it scroll goes... Scroll in with your mouth. If, mouse, not You mouth. can scroll in I think with you your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, please not. <laughs> not while I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck no. <laughs> They're beautiful mics. I don't want to destroy um, them. See how the winds are going easterly or westerly on that one? And easterly, yeah, so There's Australia. It, okay, cool. See the outer winds in this. Oh no, Australia that's not is. that's not Australia. That's a that's fucking. Yeah. There's Australia. That's Australia. But look at the way the winds going this way. All the way there. The jet streams. Yeah. And massive. look at the way on the inner part it's going this way. So a lot is happening, and it's very. That's why I said flat Earth is deep. But you know, the, this there will be something that you'll hear in this um, research called the Coriolis effect. Mm -hmm. You know, where they say, mm -hmm. you know, that cyclones spin in different directions because of the Earth's spin and. Look, you can see it here working on a flat earth. So with the jet streams, they're very complex. And that's what Look I was going to say jet stream, about. It goes all flight the way time. here. But what's going quicker um, there, Billy? The, yeah. the outside rings or the inside well, wings? if there was an ice wall around here. What's going quicker, though? Look at the flow of yeah, this one. They're going they're so quick. The ones, going, the, yeah? north, the, the North Pole ones, the ones that are in the middle... Only this one's going quick, but this one's in a whirlpool kind of effect. Crazy. So that could be look the how, cause but, of it. But just look how quick this one's going. This is the whole bottom end of Australia. The whole so you know what I reckon occurs, not what I reckon, you know, just through the research I've done, is I reckon, you know, you'll see, you know when you drive a boat through water and you just look at the wake behind you and you'll see it creates a vortex like mm. this, right? Yeah. That could create, up, you know. So this is as the HPA. sun orbits us, the, the sun leaves a wake behind it, I believe, and creates an influence to everything around it, mm. wouldn't it? It's going through the ether, this path of, we don't know, it's like a... Just a, pumping out energy, right? Just, and just vortexes behind mm. it. Have you seen those videos? The where, owl? You know, an owl? Mm. Ooh, I love that. It's incredible. Well yeah. done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, True that. That trips me mm. right out when mm. I see that one. It's like... They don't need any fuel... Tunnel. Incre was that through bubbles they did it? Through fine bubbles? Like was it? Yeah, yeah, I thought it was yeah. uh, those owls like water spray. Water or, spray, uh, yeah, yeah. Incredible. They're onto something, In those owls. Aren't they? And yeah. that's why they're these on the $100 note. Illuminati, dollar, yeah, you know, because yeah. if you're like just yeah. vision and I don't know, yeah, it's very... The wise owl. Always depicted as wisdom. One night, man. You know, first night I had a magpie. And middle of the night, this magpie walked into my office <laughs> and front the door was open. Go the pies. My yeah, I know. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's why we won. Um, but then it just stayed in my office for two hours. I think I did a video, like I caught some footage and it like, stayed. And just, then the next night, an owl came. And I, I heard this noise. I thought, is that a possum? I went outside and it was like this big white owl. It must have been that big, man. Wow. Wow. Freaky look, and he flew away just like straight. I scared him. I don't know why. You know, just obviously just seen a human, and he just and you could hear the wind, just the flaps. It's that beautiful so creatures. So, but so that powerful. video that you just said with the owl going through and creating a vortex is just so fascinating. And this, isn't that what we're seeing here? So, how fast can a plane go? And there's a channel called Geronism, Geron, and his channel name's Geronism. Um, great content, and he. Vortexes. Yep. Wait till the next camera angle. Yep. yep. Yeah, wait yep. till they yep. get front on. Yeah. Uh, bubbles. Mm, but it's real miss they would have done it, wouldn't mm. they? They had to it. Yeah. Yep. Yep. There we go. Look at it. And now look at the way these mm. bubbles are going faster than the other ones. And, you know, there's a lot to this, question. This, this almost man. looks like a, it's a it's a Taurus field effect as Isn't well. It? Mm. Isn't it just beautiful? Yeah. There's so much to this world, and I think that's what happens when you start to get into... not hang flat, on, hang you know, on. flat Earth is like overused concept, but it's good because now it's just so... Like, we're into mainstream now, so we're not going to change the world. Yeah, this that's is beautiful. The one. That's just yeah, gorgeous. Look at so look that, what's yeah. happening to the speed of, mm. of this... Like a toroidal field. ...field compared to the outer fields. and just like there's so it much It looks like it's, its eyes as well, like an yeah, owl face. yeah. Doesn't Eyes and it? a nose. That's weird, man. Well, have you looked at the toroidal field of a magnet? 
type that mm. in. Yeah. Touch, yeah. Toroidal field of With ferro, yeah. ferro fluid. Ferro cell, mm. yeah. Oh, what's that? Um, what's cool? What's that? Uh, that Theosophy. Yeah. The, Theosophy. Yeah, nah, yeah, nah. Theo, uh, Theosis. What's his name? Uh, Theosis. His, uh, for, oh, man. I always oh. get his channel wrong. What's his, white, his slave name? Uh, Toroidal <laughs> solenoid maniac. Go images. Just go images. Yeah, just uh, go images. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, when yeah. they isn't um, that how they try and make just type a ferrocell field of a magnet? Yeah, that's ferrocell. Ferrocell magnet. Yeah, just type ferrocell magnet. Ferrocell magnet. Yeah, and it should show those ones. Yeah, yeah look at that one, the third one. Yeah, and the fourth. That's uh, exactly and now they like the uh, L. magnetic field and the t- uh, that beautiful, like the flower of life. Mm-hmm. Yeah, wow, I've got that well, tattoo the third, on my fucking. Oh, do you? On yeah. my neck. See yeah. the third one as well. Third, um, uh, third row. Yep. Fourth image, that one. Check yeah. That out. And have you seen the Flat Earth map in Sydney, that Flat Earth Park no. in Sydney? Type Flat Earth Park. Yeah, Flat sorry, Earth I'll Park jump in yet. Sydney. And this is sort of part of the research of just questioning where you live. You know, why is this connection, why is this beautiful patterns occur Sydney, around the Sydney. world? Yeah, so look at that, that Which one? one. Sorry, second row, third image. That. Look at That's that. That's in Sydney. That's in Sydney. See, I've been there. Yeah. I took what? a good video of. There and uh, inside there's a flat. The Daily map. Mail, the Daily yeah, Mail. Man, yeah, uh, yeah. Where's this in the CBD? I wonder if they've got my freaking video. Um, <laughs> that's had like m- millions of views because it's been shared with so many people as well. Look at that. Where, where is this? this oh, is there's in so many Sydney, ads. Darling Park in Sydney, oh, it's called. Okay. And th- yeah, there's a flat earth part with water. It shows the water containing level and ice ring around it. What's in the middle there? Is there like, like a, a obelisk? An obelisk oh. you know, with a bird <laughs> no know. way. Wouldn't My it be funny God. if they had a at the top, you know? Sneaky but inside bastards. this building is amazing because if you go back now to that other tab, you've got Flat Earth Map. And, yep. Those guys there, we stood there as well. Oh, yeah. Surprised. No, yeah. But we they've got a Flat Earth clock inside on the wall of that building. And then if you go in there, the ceiling has got like a firmament covered like a dome. Well, with all the stars and the zodiac just so they can be like, ah, 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 in ah, there as well. Yeah, everybody. it'd be nice to see who uh, who designed that building. Because yeah, you know, zodiac, zodiac is Zor, isn't it? They, yeah, the, yeah, yeah, the yeah. Zor, the zodiac. Animals yeah. in the sky. Yeah, Zor. Like zoo. Yeah, zoo. You know, Zugla. But all that's wrong. So you know that second row there. That's the second row. That's that second image on the yeah, second that's, row. Okay. That's, that's fake. Um, that no flat earther believes that we're flying. Do, do they do space. that to make everyone look like yes. a fucking idiot? Yeah, like oh, the water would fall off the you yeah. Know, yeah, all that. Was this the flat earth society, like the official flat earth society I that came out with this so. image? And, I think that makes uh, sense because no one depicted this nah. stuff in the eighteen. What about the United and, Nations fucking flag? Yeah, yeah, isn't that funny? And not only them, UN even flag. all of them. Mm-hmm. All the UN UN flag is. Yeah. What is that? Is that not yeah, and many agencies. Map. So if you look at the U.S. military, how many mm-hmm. military agencies use NOAA, N-O-A-A. Yeah, U.S. Gleason. Gleason map, and then if you, um, I don't know what UN flag type. Gleason's map. Uh, yeah, all right. Just got Gleason map, and then <laughs> military maybe after it, and you'll say, oh, there's, I think there's a good meme there. This one here, right, that. That left of that. Might be this one. Shows you all the different agencies that use that. Like Is that um, a YouTube video. Uh, no, it's just an image. Mm, just a <laughs> oh, it's some kind yeah, you of could a put, maybe crop the sound on and he'll. I don't know. Did the sound that was created by demons for the purpose of deceiving mankind to control them with pseudoscience. And look at the um mm. the United the Nations, one of the world Econ- World Health Forum. I know. This one. Yeah. Got the snake going through so there as well. There's international I mean, maritime yeah, organization. The same. The Sorry, UN blank, international yeah. civil aviation organization. Yeah. Flat international yeah. maritime organization. And many, same. many, many more actually. NASA ah. snakes. Mm. <laughs> Lies. You know what we, we need to input into this uh, podcast is the animations of um, the sun and the moon yes, traveling. Yes, that would over be, that'd be that really, really cool, helped me visualize they? how it sort of is supposed to be. On the heliocentric or the, the geocentric? Flight, or geocentric. Yeah. I think, but and it's good to know both, isn't it? That's yeah. why I think we we know more about the heliocentric model than most. We grew up with believers, it, yeah. Don't, mm. yeah. But we've researched both sides of it, and you mm. want to look at both sides of the argument. So Helios is. The, the sun. sun. Helios that's why Greek. it's like that's yeah. What the ilio. The ilio. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah and and that means that everything is revolving around yeah, so the sun. Yeah, so we put him in the center, and yeah. kind of yeah. you know, even from a religious as- aspect as well. You know, God. You know, God. It's always a masculine, God, masculine the energy. Of God. Definitely. So now they've you know that aspect. Even the son of God walks on water. Yeah. You know, they said that 
But if you Google, just do that. Google um, sun walking on water. Just type it. Sun is in what sun? Skeleton? That's fine. Yeah, walking on water because you'll see then go yeah, go images. Look at that at the beach, mm. and only a straight um, flat level surface can create specular highlight, like a specular reflection. I should say mm. that's occurring. If that was curved, you'd get a curve. So you can't create perfect reflections on a curved surface. You might have gone to the those clown things and, you know, they've got, sorry, those mirrors, mirrors that are curved yeah. and it makes it look smaller and the other one makes it look yeah. bigger if it's, tre- if it's convex or, or concave. Yep. So yep. only a flat surface can create a yeah. perfectly flat level. So did these guys, like, look at that, son of God, all you did was sun walk in a water, did they try and merge a bit of their pagan beliefs into this, into our into religion as well, right? Mm. You know, I don't know how far in Christianity, whether you've, looked at you know mm. question these things but you've got to question everything i think question and if someone everything. tells you not yeah. to question it even more yeah, so that's my motto. exactly yeah yeah billy right. uh, what's that term um for when the sun is behind the clouds and you have that dispersion of the uh, rays crepuscular rays, crepuscular yeah, so, rays. That. Crepuscular. so that one when i saw that it blew couldn't my even, mind i couldn't even print it how do we print how do Just i spell C-R- that crepsules c-r-e-p-u <laughs> c-r-e-p-u s-c U L A R crepuscular rays, just go yeah. Crepuscular rays, yeah, yeah that's um, the one here, the perfect thing there. You go to Google Images if you oh, want. So oh yeah, just at the beach. Blowing. So how can the sun mm. be ninety three million miles away yet it creates this, this, and some of them you see. Oh man, oh, look at that. The, yeah, you can like, see the clouds that. behind. Is that one, the last one on that first row. This one, yeah. Oh yeah. How is that occurring? All these, you these can see the sun is close. Through. Right above the clouds as it appears. Uh, it's a song. <laughs> 3,000. <000. laughs> oh, right, okay. So, yeah. Sorry, sorry. Gee, it's amazing. You need to use DuckDuckGo uh, because uh, you can pull up the images a lot. Another um, one, and just oh, type now, in, if you want to type in front of crepuscular rays, type anti-crepuscular mm. rays. Anti. Mm. Not about it's not like they're, about, they're we'll against get, crepuscular we'll get rays. Your, these um, <laughs> <laughs> See how it's bouncing the other way now. So one way, it depends oh. on where the... Yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa. Down. Anti-crepuscular, Anti-crepuscular rays. Mm. rays. And these are just incredible Looks like, a, it's like a direct energy weapon, man. And when you see them, hey, uh, come on. Isn't it amazing when you mine and when you now go, okay, you're questioning mm. things. Is the sun close? Well, this is pretty good evidence that it's close and not distant because how could it have peaked through those clouds and created those hot spots mm-hmm. on the water it was 93 million miles away. It takes eight minutes. It would be reflecting... And yeah, it takes eight minutes, eight AU astronomical in, units. In light years, 292,000. But one light year is exactly the same uh, coordinates and degrees of the only, pyramid of Khufu. Only if you already know. Light, yeah, I know. That's, Weird, that's huh? That's bullshit. 296, you know, milliseconds per second, you know, um, kilometers per second or whatever it is. It's exactly this. Yeah. It's bullshit. And I reckon that's how they convince us all this... You know, the aliens must have come and gave all these numbers. And no, I reckon, I don't know that because no one knows the speed of light. Because if you Google the speed of light, and is it, a, is it constant? No, it's a variable because you can vary it through the medium. So let's say you have an atmosphere. Cool. How do you know the conditions of the atmosphere? For example, is the speed of light constant through if I got a laser and I hit water, does the water slow down the speed of light? It does, it would, and they've yeah. done experiments mm. on it. Here we go. Moffat's VSL theory. And what's in the atmosphere? Water Influences particles. Yeah, can yeah. stop mm. like a yeah. mm. So how did they know the speed of light? Who measured that exactly? And if you can measure the speed of light, why can't you spe- uh, measure the speed of the Earth, the rotational speed of the Earth, a thousand miles an hour? That I should never be done. Haven't no done, never been done. done yeah. Are no you serious? One's, no one's ever done that. No, there's not one experiment that can do that. Mm. And it, in fact, that's how it all started. You know, if you look at the 1880s and 90s, um, there were guys like Mickelson Morley experiment. Google that, or the Sagnac experiment, or Airy's Airy's <laughs> failure. And there were a lot of guys because back then it was like discussion. Now, where do we live? Are we on a ball? Who can prove it? And if you did, you'd be so freaking famous. But the only thing they the famous person we know about is Einstein, because it goes quite the opposite of what you know Einstein. what should have happened, right? Because what happened is these guys here, Moxaboli, all those guys, they were trying to you know measure okay, are the stars as we're watching through a telescope, are they appearing to move? Is it moving? The stars moving, or are we moving? 
Mm. Right? That's the ultimate question. So they put their telescopes and they'd angle the star, you know, measure the angle of the star coming in and whether that moved or we moved. And another guy would have another experiment and then they would go, okay, well, if the Earth is spinning this way, we fire light this way to that way, it should be spinning faster this way because going yeah. with that, right? Yeah. And against that, if we fire that way, it should be going a different, shouldn't it? Yeah. Yeah? Logically, it should. And they were trying to measure that with all these experiments and they couldn't. So then Einstein comes along. Like most people at that point were like stunned. Einstein then comes Deer along. in the headlights. And he, yeah, and hears about this experiment because at that point he was like, there's no physical, ex no optical experiment to prove that the Earth is in motion. So Einstein comes along, it's like they put him there. He was like a fraud, that guy, big mm. time. And Nikola Tesla was the real he deal. He had the they Einstein of, um, was it jet special relativity first? And then that didn't work. They debunked that. And then he had to change general, to general relativity. Yeah, it's just, a general, general. Yeah, it's general or relative. <laughs> you could be on the train, you know, when you're on a train. Generally relative. You think the other train is moving <laughs> when you're at the station and it could be you. Mm. You know, you have that. Mm -hmm. those mo but we soon realise I'm moving. Or no, shit, that's the other train, you know, because you're like, and that's part of the, the, the theory that he mm. used to, to... But what he did, really sneakily, he said that telescope that they were measuring, he said that contracted. They call it... Not contract... So they call it Lorenz contraction. So the device changed size, and that's why, you know, the, yeah, he, he then devised his theory on the mm. basis that... The, me the, the tape measure stretched and that's why it's a different <laughs> measurement, you know. What? Just bullshit. And that's what people fell for. And no one could prove it or, or disprove it because they put this guy on a pedestal. Mm. Fucking oath they had him on a pedestal. And if you went to school and went, oh, Einstein's got... Equals MC squared, dude. Everyone shot mm. you down. Forget about 9 9-11's nine nine fake. If you went and said Einstein... He's a fraud. Or oh, forget yeah, it. Yeah. You're fucked. Well, evolution is a lie. Try mm. saying that to people. That GG. Like, oh, you're made by a creator. And I think this whole thing is about that. You know, they tried to 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 feed this idea that we're made by aliens distant afar and it could be other life out there on another planet millions and millions of miles away. But really, this is the special place. Yeah. Mm. And they don't know what it is. I don't think anyone you know, knows this place. You know what really gets me? I, I've, I've, in, I've interviewed two astrologers on this podcast, yeah. right? Astrolog astrologers, Astro right? Yeah. Both of them believe the Earth is flat. Astrology is one of the most ancient, absolutely most ancient methods. Science. Yeah, si sciences, right? What is up there? Like, in epi what is cycles, it? Um, epi cycles, if you like, epi cycles of the stars, if you. Uh, epi cycles of the stars. Yeah, just say, yeah. And go to images. Mm, Ptolemaic. Yeah. The, Beautiful. Uh, I never Ptolemy. knew the term. Yeah, Ptolemy, yeah. the and guy go, after Alexander the Great's mate. Yeah. And what these guys all believe it's all sacred geometry. Are they made, well, how long can we live go to images. know what all the stars are doing? Yeah, go back. Go, yeah, 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 yeah. This is all the sacred geometry of that the planet second movement. second image. Mm. This is this what one? the stars oh, are doing. Oh, yeah, yeah, what is right? going on in this? Oh, yes. it's 219 by 216. Bro, There might be a better one. I don't even have DuckDuckGo. This is what... So when we say... like, Have you ever seen... So when we see the moon, the new moon, the new moon rises from a different location to the full moon. And just search that epicycles that? again. When it's a new yeah. moon, it's like over, like, it's rising from the from this direction. When it then goes full moon, it's right. So the moon, you know, if you ask people, uh, where does the moon rise from? They'll always go, it rises from the east. So it's anyway. No, it doesn't. Because it's doing this thing. It's doing epicycles in these beautiful patterns like you used to draw as a kid with your... Sketch, what, you, what happened? You know that <laughs> just, just use it as a, a website. Just duckduckgo.com and then go um, images. Oh, really? Yeah, it's just I a website. It, I thought it wanted me to download it. No, no. Duckduckgo is a search oh, engine. Oh, yep, lovely. Yeah, yeah. Just go epicycles. Much better, what, isn't it, DuckDuckGo? Have you looked at uh, uh, the scientist Luigi... What's his... Even of the movie, Luigi? You to, sorry, what? Which you know uh, Luigi, uh, the Italian scientist... Um, he, he developed a few different ways to test um, the movement of the rotation of the Earth. And he his um, Santos goes into him and all he, his documentaries are all in Italian. And oh, yes. Um, Giornato de I think, Bruno? Giornato nah, Bruno? Nah, Is that that Luigi. guy they burnt at the stake? Or no? No, nah, no. Nah, he's recent. I, I think Got he was like uh, maybe did, yeah, 50 years blood. ago. 
Something like this. So with yeah? DuckDuck, you can see the resolution and then you can um, click view oh, file. View file. And wow. then boom, you've just got the... Uh, Far out. This is incredible because that's what the stars are doing. And you know, look mm. at the patterns. Yeah, man. Paternal from the paternal, the father pattern. It's a geometric maker. for sure. There's, yeah. there's so much geometry. And Mother in that. Earth with matter. So you've got yeah. the pattern and the matter working together. It's mother and father. Mother and, you know, the creation energy. Mother is the matter and the father is the, the paternal pattern. Yeah. You know, it's like incredible, man. And once your brain sort of goes like this, this place is special. Yeah. You become a different person. Because yeah. nearly every person I've met. That has switched over, you know, going, hey, this is geocentric. You can't help but but consider that there's a God, a creator. Because mm. everything that's created has to have a creator. Of it's course. It's as simple as that. Yeah. You know, even if you don't have all the answers of which religions, you know, I don't, I don't believe in that anymore. I just think we all can prove that we have a creator. If you build it, they will we're come. We're all same blood. You're all red-blooded, yeah. right? You know, we've got yeah. eyes and ears and nose. What and do nose. they reckon if you go into the into space or something, your blood goes blue? <laughs> Bullshit, huh? What the All the people have been to space that? are fr- Freemasons. I just huh? remember <laughs> that as a kid. You Freemason, like ex-pilot it's or ex-something g- like that. Reptilians. Sign confidentiality mm. agreements and, yeah, you know, really? Oh, the... the Buzz, uh, what's his name? Buzz Aldrin. The, the, Talking the, to the recent, fo- yeah, yeah, like the recent scary. stuff. Where he, Crazy, he, isn't he asks it? Like, him I think as you get older, you start yeah. telling the truth, and even um, the guilt, and even a lot of the, you know, it was a guy that um, germ theory and. Terrain theory. Terrain theory. Oh, yes. um, oh, shit, I can't remember his name. But even him, he, he, on his deathbed, sort of went, hang on, you know, I don't know. And mm. it could be wrong. And, you know, one sip of the cup of science will make you an atheist. And at the bottom of the cup, <laughs> God is waiting for you. Well, wow. Right? <laughs> shit like that. Because mm. they all know, man. They know that they can't answer. If they were honest with yourself and anyone on this, uh, we don't know. Mm. We're just I trying our God. best. I don't know who's God, and they go, "Who made God?" Then I don't. That's a really complex. Word. That's a <laughs> hard one to dive into. Because then, if you start to go, "Who made God?" Well, who made that God? And you start doing this freaking like this mm. groups. Yeah, yeah. Well, with the uh, the whole um, sort of once you look into this and and you start to reconsider what we've been told, you know, with, as well as evolution, and it's like. You know, I, I, I say to people, I say, well, if you consider, if you believe in, in Darwinism and the theory of evolution, by all means, if, if you are going to disrespect your grandparents and and, call, and your grandparents are monkeys, by all means, like, that's, that's I know, on you. Well but, said, man. but I believe, you know, we are Disrespecting all... Disrespecting your own heritage. I know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Imagine if they saw you and really... Ah, super too. Yeah. <laughs> Seriously, they'd slap you. And then it's like, <laughs> before the monkeys, then... You go all the way down. It's, it's a bit of bacteria, a bit of mold growing on a rock. Like, is that where you Unreal, think we came it from? Perfectly yeah, evolved, and you know, yeah. So then it's like the whole the mold the, on a rock turned into blue haired <laughs> yeah. crazy, yeah. crazy theory, isn't it? You know, I believe in in microevolution. I could accept that. You know, a species can yeah. evolve, but it can't change from one kind to another. Yeah. It's yeah. you're never going to go from a you know a bird has evolved to a a, a tiger, dinosaur, are then to us, and like that's just crazy. The, they reckon thinking, the dinosaurs know? evolved into uh, my chickens. Like is, yeah, the I know. Chickens. <laughs> I know they're chickens now. So when you're paleontology is a fraud science. Dinosaur, and then they're trying to tell you that the that all these dinosaurs and their the fossil is a fuel that we're putting in our car and like, just crazy <laughs> yeah, yeah, shit yeah. like that. And they call it a finite like fossil fuels. So yeah. then they could price it up, make more money Absolutely. off it when it's actually a naturally reoccurring substance yeah. in the earth. I think it was the Rockefellers. It's an organic. They, yeah, yeah, they yeah. paid the scientific community to do around that. the world. They did. Didn't they? Like they, they did. Universities. That. Bang, bang, money, money, money. And, and, that goes, and that goes back to the cabal, the Illuminati who Seriously, control the world. Yeah, yeah. Full on, full on deception from every angle. But well, it's... It, yeah, in terms of resets, you know, with the, the Rockefellers and in um, 1911... Uh, I forget that that program where they they wiped they wiped all of the eastern um, the, the holistic and eastern medicine and science was coming into the west and they're like no nah, no nah, we need to take control here um, if you could please pull up 1911 uh, the Rockefeller report I, I think right. it was called where they completely changed all curriculum for schooling for medicine Didn't they? Was oh, that, yeah was that yeah, through yeah. like the remember, Tavistock Institute that. and all those guys intelligence as well. the Rockefeller Commission report 2000 uh, 1911. Um, 
And you know there's so much we don't know about. And, it, you know, now just briefly as you're bringing this up, because we don't know about it's this. Brought, yeah. We didn't get taught about this. And we didn't get taught about Nikola Tesla. We got mm. taught about Einstein. The Flexner, Einstein. Flexner Report, that's the, the one. The Flexner Report, yeah, yeah. 100 years oh, later. I haven't heard of that. But, you know, we uh, all heard yes. of Albert Einstein at school, but we didn't hear about Nikola Tesla, mm. you know, this mm-hmm. genius mm. that invented, you know, well, this questionable as well. But, you know, from, <laughs> I didn't even know about him. And yeah, I didn't know about One this. photo of him sticking his this tongue is, out with his crazy I know, hair. and he's like, you know, he's got all this. and But I do that too, you know. It's just shit. He was best friends with Oppenheimer. I think before on camera, I went like this, and I'm like, for, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like screenshot it. Yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. i got to be careful of exactly what, you know, like, I don't know. Mm. Sometimes at my desk, I find this comfortable. I know, just like, <laughs> well, this <laughs> even, what? And then I find myself, oh, shit. Someone well, takes a photo of that. I'm Illuminati. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'm going to scratch your eye and far out. Well, that's Don't the problem far. with the internet. Yeah, yeah it, it's, it's the good we, and the, the bad of the internet. It's like, should we take it on our merits and what, what, yeah, what we do, what we speak what of, saying, what we say? Not, you know, We've like, said a lot of things in exactly. this podcast. Exactly. Oh, but that one thing he did, uh, he's a fucking He's a fucking, oh, he's, 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 he's an know. agent. He's an agent. So <laughs> oh, on my Twitter yesterday. Controlled said, opposition. He called me a CIA agent. And I oh, well done. He's myself. You made it. I was like, I'm even in Australia. How am I a CIA agent? <laughs> they're even in Australia. I mean, they're different. Call the Australia, but how CIA? Like, Congratulations. You, you've made Congratulations. it. You've made it. Yeah, yeah, you've you made it. You've made it. Well done. Well done. Yeah. Well done. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Yeah. Can I trip you out? Yeah. About yes. I haven't said this publicly on any show before. So yeah, no, we got an exclusive. Exclusive. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. exclusive. Go to DuckDuckGo. Yeah, it's on. It's on DuckDuckGo. Yeah, just go just to, the, to the search. Yeah, like do a search, new search. Yeah. We're going to type for um, images of Jesus preaching to the, a crowd. Is he black? Images of Jesus <laughs> preaching to a crowd. Okay, look oh, at that no. for a second image. Second one, this one. But what's with all these buildings is that, man? Like, check out all the pictures or images or the depictions. That's of the same uh, go, uh, structures that they use in it's Peru. Maybe, maybe go the images pyramids. and go um, Jesus. Yeah, what did I say? Even this one. Me. Look at this shit. What's going on? Mm. Because when I pictured Jesus preaching to the crowd, but there was nothing back then, man. These guys were cave people, apparently. So you were building <laughs> buildings like this, and it's actually much better. Maybe we're not searching for the right thing. Yeah. I think I type Jesus sermon buildings behind him or something like that, right? And if you look at there, you go, what the heck, man? Do they okay, let's go. have let's these real? Look at that. Look preaching. how they used to pre mm. like depict. Stuff even back then. That's quite gothic. That's so quite. So was there a big flood that yeah, wiped it all out? And was there even when Noah was around? You well, know, maybe this these buildings existed. Maybe have you heard? Those, maybe because when we hear Noah and go, "How do you build that boat? Ooh, well, you just hammerage." Maybe they had hammer the ability chisels. to build this big. And have you seen well, the, um, the, these were these were the healing centers? Have you seen Noah the movie on Netflix? You know with. Russell Crowe? Yeah, I saw it. I saw Far it. Out. Fucking good movie. That, a really good Very movie. Good movie. Really I enjoyed good movie. watching that. Should watch that. Seen it twice. At the end, not at the end, but halfway through, you sort of oh, see spoilers. the giants <laughs> come and helping mm. him. Were they the well, Nephilim? That makes more sense. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Oh, the gi- yeah, the Nephilim. Nephilim. But some of the Nephilim were good. They yes. sort of saw. And the other ones ate the humans. Other, yeah, and the Tasty. other ones were bad and, yeah. you know, debauchery happening of this mm-hmm, Sodom and Gomorrah. You know, that's why no one wanted to do that. Because as a kid, I always like, I was a kid, but as I got older, I was sort of like, gee, God's a prick, you know. Why would he flood the whole world? And like, why would he do that? You know, why would, why he, would do he do that, that for? Yeah. Like, but what now it sort of makes sense, you know. I'd, I'd do that. If I had a fish tank, and all my fish tank would like hybrids and not. They're supposed to be yellow cichlids, but now they're all black and they're just default. You know, I've got a fish do? tank. I love me fish too. Tanks. I've got a yeah. fish tank too. Yeah, yeah. Cichlids are cool, aren't they? Yeah, yeah, yeah. cichlids. I started with four. They're sick. And yeah, they're sick. <laughs> and if you don't have, you know, like. I, I, I've got like at one point I had hundreds in there. Poor. Every day the people get little babies, but that's only because I had males and females. Yeah. But if yeah. you're just males in this fish tank, you're not going to get any more. You're not going to have four males nah. and then end up with ten. You need the divine forces of both Don't creation. You? you need both. Yeah. yeah, that balance. That's what creates yeah. more. And it's just like fascinating because when you watch them and they're like about two millimeters big, man, when they're yeah. babies, yeah, um, it's hectic. They're hiding already. Yeah. From the big ones. Mm. Yeah, God, you got a brain. They, yeah, know, they know yeah. They know food. You put food. Oh, they, what? Yeah, yeah. You're serious. In that little tiny body, the size of an ant, smaller, is in Fear response. It's already intelligent. Mm. Yeah, exactly. Wow. And Crazy. they reckon that happened by accident? I don't buy that story. <laughs> yeah. This is Incredible, the Garden of Eden. Yeah. From a small little cichlet to an elephant or a jaguar or a hellcat. Mm. To a human and beautiful as well, yeah. The flowers and the water and just so everything. much hyper complexification in this. Yeah. In, in this and I reckon a big asteroid hit us or a meteor and it wiped out the dinosaurs. Fantastical stories. And, have you seen geysers? Have you looked into that? Because all these ant questions. Geysers. Well, how did geysers? Geysers. geysers. Yeah, geysers. <laughs> I'm sorry. Geyser. Um, do Pyramid G E Y S C R S. Yeah, this is incredible. G E Y. G E Y G S E yeah just that guys are oh here we go we're and getting into go some into geology images and look at this so yeah. in the Bible it says when when you know, the great flood happened it doesn't say it rained for forty days and for the original story they gave us that forbidden duck duck bro that's duck, when duck. you know <laughs> this is isn't this they're duck, watching duck? us now man they're like you know <laughs> it was duck duck but see what, what happened you, so if you, you go and after a guy uh, this occurs now you got me questioning myself guys are check. Oh, what is going on? <laughs> when it occurs, it leaves a crater at the bottom. So if you yeah. now go to like craters, what's going on? Do we lose? Uh, we'll go another one. We'll go another one. We're starting to move into um, 
uh, the, the yeah. electric universe theory. Have you looked so into that? So this is a natural occurrence. The electric the, universe yeah, theory. It's incredible mm, stuff, mm. isn't it? Yeah. Uh, and, uh, we, are reckon, we, are, we are electric anyway because mm-hmm. everything mm. here would have neurons. Vibrations. It's all vibrations, everything. man. Yeah, my mum was having heart problems that meant about 10 years ago and it ended up being apparently um, your heart, you have heart strings. If you probably heard heart, you know. Oh, ah, she pulled my heart broken. strings. Yeah. Oh, yeah, right. So apparently what they did was a specialist that came from overseas and she was like a... Uh, 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 cardiologist, cardiologist. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Cardia, but, yeah exactly but I was trying to think of like a, su- a, su- a surgeon as well yeah, mm. yeah, yeah. and she um, ended up there was in her heart there was two wires loose so then I was ground and mm. accidentally hit the other like imagine that you got oh, a wire wow. in the body yeah. of your car and mm-hmm. it would wrecks everything yeah, Ca- right. car, cardi, they were welding cardi. them together and that, you know mm. lots of tough the oh, she has had no more she, wow! That, yeah. Because they sorted and out the grounding issue. She was collapsing as I was living in Sydney. That's why I moved back to Melbourne. Crazy. Yeah. So we're electrical, and that's electrical stuff. So I don't know. They can't even, replicate us yet. No, they're trying. Our we're eyes too are powerful, too, man. Way well, too special. They're not. They're, rather than trying to replicate human, they're just going to infuse technology digital with human. Technology. Yeah. And now we're up, at the point of talking about schmucky before, boy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Elon about Schmuck. Fuck Elon Schmuck. Brain, yeah, I'm talking to you, bastard. Yeah, yeah. Dog. What are you doing, bro? What are you <laughs> doing, man? <laughs> you want to put a chip in my brain? Because I honestly don't know what that guy's doing. Because you know when they sent that red car into space? Oh my I God. think they caught him off guard. I don't think. I reckon it's that's so real that it. What, it, what is it? It's so real. It looks so real that it's fake, bro. It's so HD, bro. It's so crazy. And I reckon that was the cabal's way of just testing him. Is he going to come out and go, Sorry. nah, man, that wasn't me. Are you guys playing Tootsie? <laughs> oh, yeah, I accidentally kicked his foot. I accidentally kicked his foot. I've got a stool here. But is it their way of testing him and going, what's he going to need? He came up with that excuse. So I can tell it's real because mm. it looks so fake. We're going to better right, job At the that. start, I, 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 when I was a kid, I looked up to Elon Musk because I'd be like, oh, we he, all want, did he wants point. to terraform Mars. He's got big plans. Yeah. He sold PayPal for 200 mil. Now he's yeah, you know, well, I was, building I'm a web developer. So I've always looked, you know, oh, yeah, yeah, eBay, same. that was huge. You know, yeah, know yeah. PayPal, I mean. Yeah. Wow, you know, oh, it was pretty smart. But then... I didn't know shit about the world to now. Never worship no. these idols, these Never. fake idols. He's, fake yeah. he's going to the fucking Davos things. He's going to oh, the yeah. big wig events. He's a part of the global Wearing Kamal. Baphomet clothing. Oh, that's yeah. disgusting. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Disgusting. And he memes about it too. And then he mm. bought Twitter, X, is going to turn it into a WeChat, which is pretty much social credit system rollout by 2030. Yeah. Uh, he's playing the game exceptionally well. And, exceptionally and he's, well, And he's he? fooling a lot of... You know, innocent kind of definitely, people. Definitely. And honestly, man, like only the last couple of months, I've started to dislike him. I was always like, oh, he's a good guy. He's trying his best. You know, Buzz Aldrin made him cry, this and that bullshit. And I always... Did he? I didn't say that. Yeah, yeah Buzz and, Aldrin is like, he's a fuckwit. He's a, he's a right. scam. He's a dog, this and that. He That's fucking... The- Pop calling the kettle black, isn't it? I know, yeah. right? I know. So I always had a soft spot for Elon, but now I don't know. It's kind of changed, especially with this Neuralink shit. You know, Is he's try- pushing this transhumanism know, fucking agenda, dude. And this is the Antichrist. I've got to admit, okay, Neuralink, Neuralink. If someone is like um, paraplegic, they've been lying in bed for 20 years. But that's, and that, that's already what he said. That's the, They're the first people to get it. And I'm happy for that. that cool? I'm, is, I, yeah, yeah, I, I think that's all right. It? Yeah, I think, like they're going to be able to say, I love you to their, to their spouse that hasn't, they haven't been able to say that for imagine 20 kids, years. Imagine been, kids with you know, autism, severe yeah. autism. Yeah. If he can help them, right? That's... But fuck yeah, that. But yeah, <laughs> fuck but, that. It's right. a but, isn't it? Yeah, because you're messing with Where does God. it end, bro? Yeah. Where, Where does it end? It end mm. the because then the everyday stock trader is going to be like, if I get this brain chip, am I going to be able to fucking play the, the, play the mm. system yeah. better and make, well, make money, they, take the cream first, off the top? When they first brought up this stuff even 10 years ago about future possibilities, that's how they sold it. They yes. sold it, oh, if your child has mm. got this in their brain... He's going to be smarter than the other students at school. Exactly. Like, what the heck is that about? Oh, I'm that, going to have to do this so that my child can have the advantage over the mm. other one. Gattaca. Next thing, yeah, yeah, you've got I know. synthetic mm-hmm. humans. What's the Absolutely real human? Absolutely reading every thought you've got. And yeah. I think, is that is that their ultimate aim, though? But if you think about so, like, it... If one... you think about, oh, shit, I'm going to go and smoke a joint, they're already bang at your mm-hmm. door, like, you know... Like, Get on the ground now! Get on the ground! <laughs> you know, your, your, your social credit sort of shuts down. 
No more money for you, no, nothing. You Jay walked and across the street. kind of did that in China, didn't they? They've I done that. That, talk, that, that know, is happened like, in China. I, yeah, in a different that, way, right? Yes. You know, but they have. Yeah, without the chip. They don't even need the chip. They've got fucking cameras everywhere in Victoria now, there. Unbelievable. Everywhere. And they put Every them up during COVID, didn't they? Yeah, they Conveniently, did. they did. like, we were locked down to doing a train stage, put up cameras and, like, yep. turning this city into a digital prison. Mm -hmm. You know what, didn't I, they? You know what also, like, just I just thought then, like, imagine if the vaccine actually helps you connect with Neuralink better. I'm mm. thinking that too, man, because you see a lot of these videos and just they're possible. Well, we don't know. Nanotechnology. Mm. Like, we don't know what they have. Yeah, yeah. And everything else I'm they just do is bad. Right. So why yeah. would they do they going to make that good? Yeah. Well, if the, the, they're spraying metallic particles in the air. And yeah. We're eating it. We're breathing it, you know. All also my crops that I grow, I've got a massive garden in the backyard, yeah. Is it? Every year I've been doing gardens for like six or seven years now. Yep. Since probably 2017. Every year, it gets harder and harder, harder to grow harder. veggies. My, my tomato plants, I'm so embarrassed. Two tomatoes. Man, I, I only had four plants here, but two tomatoes? Yeah. That's it? I grew 15 tomato plants. Someone's been crying like, yeah. Dude, dude, I don't know what they're spraying in the sky, but those wispy, wavy particle clouds that yeah. are not fully formed, right? They're not organic. They're not natural. The earth didn't create them. They're yeah. inorganic. Someone has Definitely sprayed something with, in there. Yeah. Well, they've got to convince mankind that there's climate change, don't they? Mm. So, so that's they're part changing of it, the know, climate exactly. as a result. Yeah. So now we see summer in Melbourne is like, now we're getting the hot weather. And people are going, oh, yeah, climate change. Well, they just modify that. That means I can and modify the heat, the heat in a in a, in a Climate house. control. Climate control. Climate, yeah, exactly. Yeah. And I was going, wow, it's getting hot in here. You're right, heat. What, that's that. what harp is, right? Isn't harp it? has harp, been... We've been talking that. about harp for 15 years What's now. What's going on? Why yeah. do they have this stuff? Yeah. Why? Why is now it set up as a pentagon? Yeah. Why is it so, you know, why aren't you telling us? Why isn't it... You know, everyone should know about harp, shouldn't they? If it's so good that you're doing, you know, what about those, you know, that, I don't know what they are because they're in those... Golf ball like oh, thing, you yeah, can't see them out yeah. there, but it's probably harp as mm. well, or creating earthquakes or tsunami. They could do so much, well, we don't know. There's a game called Red Alert 2. Do you remember that game? Right, right. I have heard of it, but it I'm... was an old, old school game, Command and Conquer, right? Red Alert and then Red Alert 2. Okay, now there was opposing factions there was the red team and the blue team, right? Red, red yeah. team is standard, they do this with everything politics, any like any cold war. So, this was pretty cold war based because it was made in probably like late 1990s because I grew up as a kid with this game. Now, there was the Russians with the Middle East and the, you know, the Stans and the Slovakian kind of okay. countries. Yep. And then the blue team was like the allies, the, the yeah. alliance. Sure. It was like all the, the cities, good, the, yeah. big the, the big, big countries, yeah, right? The, the fucking big dogs, the good guys, right? The good guys, super weapon, right, was weather control, manipulation. So they had a giant harp and they could really? cause a weather storm to fuck you up, like fuck the other base up, right? And then the red team, Russians, they just had a nuke and you could just nuke nuke someone. And that's how it would work. Like within those different factions, that's I had countries. And like from then, it got me thinking about weather. Back when I was in 1998, 1999 wow. or something with this or 2001. Just from the, the narrative Look, I can, of this I, game. I can show you. I, I can show Just you before, shout out to Bro Sanchez TV. Yeah. Bro, Bro Sanchez San TV. Check him awesome. out. He's yeah. been doing Absolutely. it for ages. Top of the game. Absolutely. And, you know, very um, very knowledgeable man mm. with a really good ability to question things. Mm -hmm. I like the way he does it. Actually. Pattern recognition. That's that's what I... Definitely, yeah. See, even he's just got that. military experience as well, mm -hmm. doesn't he? Yeah, does yeah. He? yeah, he does. I think he's in the military as a... I think it was in. Uh, it was in the Sniper air force, but as a com as in communication oh, okay. signals or yeah, something like that. that. Cool. So this is what the weather control device. I kind of like do. that about America because they do have you know like we weren't we're not knowledgeable in that stuff through the army. I mm. mean, a lot of them did join the army. Not that I agree with all that shit anyway. Yeah. But they can teach you good skills if you go and just get in and get yeah. out. Like if you want to do a, yeah. if you're gonna do an apprenticeship and something, and you go in the army, you're gonna at the top level of mm. that. Electrical tax free or, wages, yeah, true, you know. So they do, to, but yeah. they're trying to get out of there. Like, if they make you want to go to war, that's a different, you know, isn't it? Like that, Stuff dude. like that, they might know. want us to go to war with Ta uh, China, so yeah, you go to Russia, Taiwan, exactly. And you Russia, know? they're just like, you know, oh, you've got to go to why, Fuck what no. did that Russian guy do to me? Why should I go? Why, why are young men always fighting wars 
dictated by like by rich old young men, men who yeah, don't know yeah, each yeah, other yeah. fight the wars for rich men old men who do know each other. <laughs> it's fucking pointless. And touching on that and so this, this is, is the game, th- right? This is the game, and the weather con- that is the so weather control oh, device, yeah. wow, right? Man. And that's what would happen, right? So they implement cloud storm systems and thunderbolts, lightning, just just think so to destroy the game. other base. Why would you think of this as a game? Would you, as a kid, I want to create a game based on weather. Wow, but you know, um, and that's that's what it was based on. This is the, this is the actual device. Right, but you know, it looks like some form of said about that Fresno. Flexner. Flexner. Flexner, Flexner report. And just everything happening then and the wars were happening and they use a lot of these wars, destroyed so much, so many Tartarian buildings, didn't they? Beautiful buildings that were there. Oh, the yeah. wars destroyed them. If you look at Dresden, Dresden mm. before war and the after war photos, it just, you wouldn't even think it's Germany. It looks like bloody, you know, you, um, Italy. You just you wouldn't imagine those buildings mm. being there anyway. But you know, one thing you do notice as well is, um, you know, a lot of the movies are with World War One, they soldiers going through mud and mud. Mm-hmm. What's mm. all that mud? Mud floods. Like, <laughs> what's going on? Mud right? Flood, yeah. yeah, what is that? What's going on? Why was there so much mud that they were going mm. through? And, you know, the movie, even what some of the good World War One movies, are, they can be good, but well produced. Um, they're going through mud mm. this high and like, what happened? Mm. What created the also, mud? Also, also those Tartarian uh, buildings, right? They always had some form of a dome at the top. Didn't they? That was some form of like an electrical free Doesn't energy device, energy right? From the from the ether. It yeah, looks like. yeah, that's what they. Have you seen what they're saying? They said um, they're saying that they were like the the brass balls or that are on top of there. They've got like a bit of antenna, but there's mercury in there, mm-hmm. and oh. it creates the mercury spins, and it creates some. Um, Energy flowing down, mm-hmm. and you can actually get a voltometer and um, get even a small glass of you know sealed container of mercury and spin it, and it creates spark, it creates voltage just yeah, by you spinning yeah. mercury. So is that why they told us that mercury is yeah. so bad? Don't touch your yeah. Don't touch that. Mm. Mm. What's an old alchemic uh, mercury was always ingredient, used. you know? Yeah, mm. for yeah. sure. Madame so Curie, much. Mercury, and that's something oh, that, yeah, they're shit. really crazy with these wording as well and these names that they've yeah. come up with and, yeah, I don't know, there's more to this world than we Oh, bro, 100%, name. man, we've been talking for two and a half I hours. Know, we could do another, to- hit me yeah. we've got another one, or is that rap it, that flat earth thing, and it's a topic that, you know, you just got to, uh, I think that's the grandest of them all, because I think that's, even if it's not the flat but just about you as a human, what you're doing here on earth. And if someone tells you, I oh, don't, no, you can't trust your own senses, you got to believe me about where you live. Like, they've already taken part <laughs> of your <laughs> sanity right mm. there. Let's, let, let's end on uh, five good arguments commonly presented by, you know, someone that's pro flat earth. Now, I've, re- I've, I've gotten a few here. Uh, I'll go through them and you, yeah, you, cool. can, you can. So the first one's the perception of the horizon. Okay. Um, the second one, lack of visible curvature. Yep. Third, gravity and density. Uh, fourth, water's surface. And uh, five, experimental Im- interpretations. So definitely, they're all they're all brilliant, and especially the perspective. The first one you said because I think that's why I, I, I started off in my book. That's my book the there, by curve. the way. But um, eyes. That's the first thing I did. I sort of went, you know, because. The two characters, it's a novel, and the, f- ca- the f- guy's like, first, the main character, so told Max. his friend, Max tells Sam, the earth is flat. And so Sam res- starts off with, have you lost your freaking mind? What, you know, yeah. what do you mean the earth is flat? And then Max has to take him through the process of like, you know, understanding how our eyes work, because that's critical. If we can't understand this, and a lot of people don't un- un- understand perspective, it's, it's a very complex topic. There's a book called The Geometry of Visibles and it's like thick as and all about your eyes and the acuity of your eye and things get smaller in distance as they get further and just things we know anyway. Just even parallax. You know, have you heard of parallax? That parallax. Parallax. It's like how we motion parallax and distance parallax. So if you're on a train your the objects further from you appear to be going slower if you're traveling even in a car you're driving along the distance objects look 
you're going slower. Right here, you'll see the road, and it's like going really far. That's part of understanding distance and motion parallax. But we're not taught that about school. Isn't it funny? Like, and we don't know about that. We're taught fuck all. But this. the first guy that discovered <laughs> parallax is probably something you, we all did as a, as a kid. Where did you ever put your eye there and then close one eye and do that and do that? and mm-hmm. it, it looks like the finger's moving, but is it? No, because it's your eye. Interpretation, and then, of, yeah. And then if you do this and put your finger here and measure it compared to, say, that back there, you'll see they do all sorts of things. So now you measure this. What The movement here is only this much. With my eye, oh, fuck, they're going to get me on this, aren't they? Winking his <laughs> eyes. <laughs> oh, fuck, what do I do? Um, yeah. But then you measure the disc, you know, because this is only moving this far, but then that is... So that's what parallax was. It was about, mm. in the ancients, them understanding... What their eyes are doing. And we don't get that. We don't, you know, we don't. Yeah. The veil huge. needs to be lifted. It does, isn't it? That's what the apocalypse is. is. And in, you know, in, yeah. in, in the Bible, it's called Revelation. The final chapter is called Revelation. And apocalypse is the, the, the awakening. The final chapter in Greek yeah. is called Apocalypse, which yeah. means the awakening. That's right. Yeah. But every movie was sold to us as like, remember the, the, end. At the end of the world mm-hmm. and like, you know. But the birth of a new one. Yeah. That's good. I think we're going to get there. I think 2024 is going to be a huge year. Oh, if Trump wins. Yeah, that's going to be I don't know what to think there as well. Trump. Like, yeah, I don't, yeah, man. Yeah. That's another huge it's topic. By the pussy, but guess huh? what? Despite, <laughs> despite what I believe, I think it's fair. He comes back and we see what this movie is about. Yeah, fucking know. Does he come back? He's entertaining, I, man. Yeah. I like him. I want to see this, this fight play out. Yeah. I don't want to see them just, oh, yeah. No, nah, I want to see him come back and... He, is if he comes back and just acts like a like doesn't do anything like, again, I'm gonna drain the swamp and this and that and like if he doesn't come back and go Biden and impeach him ninety one times, bro, I'd right? Like to see then that. we've got a yeah. Then we know we're effed. Biden because, would probably just die as soon as he relinquishes. Power. I reckon they're ready to do just because they're pumping him up with so much. Just shit, even man. yesterday, like um, they found doc. You know how they've been trying to blame Trump on. Having documents and he's hiding Mar-a-Lago, all this Mar-a-Lago, Mar-a-Lago, yeah. yeah. Well, they just found all these documents in Biden's garage, which you've probably heard a while ago. <laughs> on his son's laptop, yeah. And he yeah. shared, been sharing with people, and now the, you know, the head, um, the solicitor, the the, the uh, what do you call it, the Attorney prosecutor, General who was examining, going, oh well, it's just an old guy with a really bad memory. Well, if he's an old guy with a bad memory, <laughs> why the fuck is he, he the president of the, the United well States? Done. You know what else? Well, so they're ready to. Yeah, you know. T- Tucker Carlson did a. Yeah. Tucker Carlson did a, the the. Fuck he, Tucker Carlson. But uh, he's a warrior. <laughs> well, all right, all right. So he red, he's he got interviewed a red light, you know. Yeah, I know. Kabbalah. He interviewed uh, Putin, right? Fuck Who, Putin. All right, but anyway, anyway, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I regardless to that of that, yeah, yeah. I, like, I got a history lesson, and that's all I got. You don't even now, I didn't even listen to all of it, yeah, but I read the comments because sometimes that's more important yeah, than listening yeah, to yeah, it. Yeah, true, true. Right. And what I realized was Putin didn't even bring up America once. He just gave a history lesson on Russia. He's he probably knows right the most out of all politicians about their own country. Whatever, what, whatever that is, right? I don't even care about that. But I just laughed that he didn't even bring up America, even though America's trying to destroy Russia, right? He did bring up a little bit. He did. Yeah, he, yeah, did. he did. He did yeah, a yeah. little bit. That propaganda. He actually said to to Tucker Carlson. He said. Um, I know you wanted to be in the CIA because apparently Tucker Carlson was, wanted to be in the CIA and Putin called him out and that goes, I know you oh, wanted wow. to be a part of the CIA, but they didn't take you in. Fuck. And it Tucker Carlson's face is like, so he called him like, he was, he's a good chess player. If he's a, if that's chess, he's good at poker. He's 100 million at, views. If I played got. poker, if you play poker with Putin, you'd probably lose because he's so, <laughs> he's pretty fucking smart, that guy. Yeah, fucking oath, man. Pretty fucking, but guess what gets me? America, Russia, we hate each other, they're going to kill you. They're best mates, man. International Space Station, mm. they're best friends out <laughs> there. Yeah. No problem at all, shaking, you know. Like, keep really? it global, keep it global. Yeah, we we didn't even mention the there? Antarctic Treaty, you know, know. every we country. We didn't even mention yeah. Admiral Byrd. Yeah. International Space See, Station. Admiral Byrd, again, anything that comes out of like... US Ad- military or yeah, you know yeah. like even that um, well, his name was Richard Bird wasn't it so what's the short name for Richard Dick Dick Dicky Bird you know you gotta wonder what they do yeah, with his yeah, names yeah, yeah. Like, really it's you all know? Masonic eh isn't it could isn't be it? Could and be. then on that you know the, you know how he went out there apparently he had um, 1300 soldiers on the ships 33 aircraft 13 
of those. Yeah, 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 yeah. all these numbers. Mm-hmm. Like what? Mm. Yeah, they love numerology. Excuse me. I'm hungry. That didn't sound good yet. But yeah, there was so much more to touch on, wasn't there? Mm. And oh, maybe we could do like part two. Yeah, for sure, know? man. We'll just do another one. It doesn't need to be sorry, a part I, two. I do waffle. No, sh- no, man. It's, uh, it's great. It's great to have you on. It's, it's great to be here. And you know, I, um, we've been meaning to do this for a while, so we're definitely going to do it again. For sure, yeah. man.